are listening to ComedySlamRadio.com. From our studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So pop some popcorn, grab a smooch buddy, and settle in for another fine show. From ComedySlamRadio.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the double special show with Christopher Gorgeous and J.B. Lee coming to you live from the Comedy Slam Radio Studios in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. And now, let's get on with the show, baby. And we're back live on Comedy Slam Radio with the double special show. Yeah, there it is. Right. Yay! Apparently, I'm not hearing myself. Dude. That's all right. I can hear you just all fine. Right. Welcome back to the double special show right here on ComedySlamRadio.com. And Olin in the booth. Uh, welcome back for another two hours of uh, live improvised talk uh, comedy. With Jordan, can you hear that? Are you hearing me now? Uh, yeah, can you turn me up a little bit? Turn, turn him up. Just turn him up. Turn him on. Turn him up. Turn Tonight on, on the show, we baby. have special guest Tiffany Barbie is in the studio. Yay, Yay for Tiffany! Tiffany Barbie! Wow. Why do you feel so, you look so uncomfortable like right now? I look so uncomfortable. She, she's like, yeah, I'm here. Like, I'm here. Okay, but Yay. before we were talking, there was interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for having me. I was letting you guys do your little thing. The get the, your little thing. <laughs> <laughs> the listeners are here for you. I'm just, ah. you know. Uh, no, they're here for you now. You're the guest, so they're here for you now. That's right, yeah, that's ladies right. and gentlemen. No, if see, you're here for Tiffany Barbie, welcome. We're glad to have you on the double <laughs> special show. That's right. And if you want to talk to us in the studio, you can do so. Seven two seven four nine three two zero five five is the number. You can check us out on the web. Where on the web can they you check You can reach us at doublespecial at gmail.com. We Twitter at double special hashtag Twitter, whatever the hell it is. is I it don't a, even know. You threw a hashtag in there? And we bought doublespecialshow.com, but we have no website up yet. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we got the name, and uh, soon we'll be able to do something with it. We oh, might. What? I don't even know how it works. You don't even know. You yeah. didn't want anyone to steal the name. Yeah, we doublespecial.com <laughs> yeah. cost 1800 bucks. Yeah, no kidding. That was premium. That was a premium really? name. Yeah. yeah. We're like, eh, how much for double special show? <laughs> yeah. uh, 1895, we're in. Bam! There it is. Ooh, Lock it years, in. baby. Yeah. People are like, what are you going to do with it? I have no idea. <laughs> we don't know what we're going to do with it, but eventually, I don't know, who knows? Maybe a website, uh, some sort of a broadcasting website? Some or? sort of thingamajig? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, All right. All now, right. ladies and gentlemen, it's yeah. time for Check In. Check oh, In. I, I, I hate the bell, Tiffany. I <laughs> really this hate. day, 206 years ago, Aaron Burr shot Alexander Hamilton to death in a duel. A duel. Check back. in. You seem to back off of that mic. You're killing me. A okay. duel. A duel. A duel. The ha- liquid U is very important. <laughs> 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 Tiffany, now you're a martial art. Have you ever had a martial arts duel? duel. You had a duel. I can't duel. Say, you gotta, duel. You gotta, you gotta, like a Y. Duel. In it. Duel. Duel. Uh, duel. Um. Yeah. I mean, I've been to martial arts competitions where we fight each other for do trophies. They, have you ever went like like caught? You think of it like a duel when you do it? Yeah. Just say duel. A duel. See, she does it. Good, I yeah. know, very good. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> hey, Pretty Barbie checking in on the dueling. <laughs> Every time he rings that bell, I feel like I want to duel. Uh, right? It reminds me of when I used to fight in competitions. Right, that's what you're I'm ready saying. To, you're ready to get punched. It's like a Pavlov's dog thing. Yeah. Boom. Every time the <laughs> bell rings, she's like, point, point. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. There's gonna be violence in the studio tonight. All right, continue with Adam Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr. He was vice president of the United States, and he shot a dude in New Jersey. And Stu was vice president. How cool is that? Yeah, but but duels were kind of sorry. Duels were kind of thank you. Yeah, those things. The penalty for dueling at the time was death. Oh, really? In New York, that's why they had to go to (laughs) Weehawken. <laughs> so, so they left and went to Jersey. Oh yeah, oh, yeah a pistol duel. Oh, of well, course. Of course. Yeah. Oh, it, was cool. it? Cool. So um, they like no, they we, turned around and was like, yeah, the whole yeah. back awesome. to back thing. But we don't say pages. pistol or gun on this show. We say murder, murder penis. penis. That's right. It's yeah. murder. It's a murder penis. All guns are murder penis. Yeah. See, she looks awkward again. Oh, I know. <laughs> she, what, she was getting comfortable, and then we said murder penis, and she got really weird. <laughs> it's, it's, our, it's our little like kind of gun control thing that we do. <laughs> it's his gun control thing. I just went along with it. Because I felt happy at the moment. That's, okay, Yay. anyway. Murder yeah. penis. It's weird. She's going from like, oh, they're, they're cool. Wow, geeky yeah, time. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're funny. I don't, I don't know where. Murder penis. I don't know where it's going now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it sounds bad. Murder, interesting. Yeah. Penis, ookie, yaki. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. No. Don't say it. Yeah. 
Yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. it was weird. It was almost like when Marty called in and asked <laughs> about your sister when I was in studio. She looked at me the same way, like, eh. Hey, <laughs> got weird. All right. All right. All right, we're we moving on from Aaron Burr. Oh, I, okay. I, yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. Him. I was interested. Yeah, but he, no, okay. Check like, in, check in. <laughs> Melinda Gates challenging the Vatican by vowing to improve contraception. What? How? Check in. <laughs> How is she going to improve contraception? Four billion dollars at her disposal. Check in. Well, does that improve contraception, or does it just make it like more available because they bought a bunch of? Well, they're trying to improve and make it more available in the third world. You know. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. Are you down with that, Tiffany? The contraception in the third world. <laughs> yes. Okay. She. She. Okay. She seemed like that. She thought there was like a catch to that. <laughs> Don't they like kill babies that are like uh, in third? Third world countries that kill little girls. Oh, and that's right. So Tiffany wants to make it faster. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it, I don't know. I think oh, it, no, is it not, in China? Yeah. That's we not have, contraception. No, that's birth control. That's straight up population yeah. control yeah. in China. Well, didn't you watch that? I didn't watch the dictator movie, but I remember the preview. The guy's like, "Oh, sorry, it's a baby girl." Like after he like delivers this baby, and he's like ready to throw it in the trash right. can. And they're yeah, like, the no, old we world, want it. like the, yeah, they want male babies in the right. Middle Eastern countries. Right, that's why yeah. China now. I think it's like they outnumber women like like eight to one or something horrible. Huh. Yeah, but at some point you got a lot of baby making material just just kind of going away. I mean, you, you, they <laughs> it's <whittled> smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're it smells free. like the pro shop. Okay. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with uh, Melinda Gates giving the stuff up. And she's right. no. They, listen, they got a lot of money. The Gates Foundation donates a lot of money. That's one of the richest people in the world that I have respect for because they actually give a lot. When you right. look at the numbers, they give a lot. Back. But she's taking on the post. Pope now. So what do you think of that? Uh, I, look, I'm an atheist, so I don't. The Pope is a guy in a robe, and I'm not really. Uh, yeah, but I know. But Tiffany's spiritual because look, she's oh, it's awkward again. Wow, she, oh, went, wow. Uh, she went heathens, you devil worshippers. <laughs> well, I thought you were some kind of Hindu, the, though. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the Pope's a bit extreme, though. I don't really go with the Catholic line of. So what are you like a sort of like a, a non-denominational sort of spiritual? Faith are you a you? Unitarian? <laughs> I am actually. Oh. <laughs> No, Good no, call. But, but check like, in. But check like, in. <laughs> a Christian one, but yeah, it's 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 what does technical. That mean, well, Christian? it just means like I don't think like the God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are like one person. Like they're like three separate. All right, wait a second. Not a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, boy, it's wait, called wait, wait. Unitarian. Okay, wait. Okay, so back up. Let me hold on. Oh, no. And I want you to pull this up as she's talking. Let's get oh, the uh, no. official definition. I'm just all curious. Right, all right. I'm just curious. Now, this is a religion that you're into, Tiffany, and, right. I, and we respect that. It's and still no, Christian. Okay, but aside from that, in no way are we trying to say that you're a bad person or we don't respect okay. you because you have oh, spiritual no. i've said that before if that works for you great that's fine now i'm curious define for our listeners unitarian what what does that mean uh, okay yes. well my form of it is what, is what? that your um, form of it well i mean i'm not like a trinitarian like i don't believe in the holy trinity jesus okay so, so we got like, that right yeah. i got the holy trinity so i right. think like yeah. god's there and then yes. like jesus is like chilling beside him on the right you chilling. know what i mean and like the holy spirit's like a thing that like is sent out it's more of like a energy okay and energy. i don't i don't think they're like three things in all right one I all think, right so no i yeah. get the trinity thing so so what else so you but you believe that uh, jesus was a yeah, Son of God, back. right, yeah. and the whole resurrection, all that. All yeah. that. Okay, so so, so you like basically you won't eat peanut or almond M and M's. Strictly the regular M and M's for you. <laughs> you don't believe in the other two kinds. You don't believe that they are of the substance of M and M's. <laughs> Great. Okay. I, I, and those pretzel M and M's? Oh, that's. No, oh, no that's I'm it. down. Blasphemy! For all Damn it! M&Ms. They have mosques now. <laughs> those are the Catholics you're thinking of. Oh. <laughs> no, all right. So I'm now, hey, okay. So he went on, So Jordan went on Wikipedia. What is the official? Well, not official. Uh, Wikipedia. It's a Christian theological movement named mm-hmm. for its understanding of God as one person in direct contrast to Trinitarianism. Mm. Word I had never heard until, t- until <laughs> Tiffany blew it out yeah. there. Which defines God as three persons coexisting consubstantially as one in being. See, ah. there you go. I've done yeah. my homework. I, look, in no way was I trying to catch you in a slip up. I was just curious what you would say and what they because listen, I've you ask people what the religion is and ask them to explain it, and you, you listen. It's like That's a right. game of telephone. Yeah, well, the Unitarian movement began in Transylvania yeah. oh, in the mid 16th century. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah, well, also, according to Wikipedia. It, yeah. See, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, a lot of people don't know anything about their religion. I'm actually very knowledgeable when it comes to that yes. kind of stuff. But let's not go. Now, were you why? raised in this church? Oh no, we're I don't going. Know. Oh god. Yeah, why can't we talk about it? Okay, I, we could talk about it. I, just I didn't certainly wanna... offered that I was an atheist, uh, you know, with no right. hesitation. But usually, it bothers people to talk about religion so i don't get into oh it. no no but no, like no. i'm actually studying it and everything like i go to school and everything for it really okay when you say go to school and everything what does that mean i don't you have like a belt in it 
so you are going to college at for a for a uh, a doctrine in, in theology or religious philosophy? Like religion or? theology. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, good. Well, good for you. That's you know, good. we're reverends. Yeah, both of us are. I'm uh, an ordained or, minister. So are we. Yeah. Really? Yeah, hell yeah. We, we went to that website. <laughs> we did the one. Yeah, yeah. It takes like five seconds. Still really. haven't got my uh, uh little plat or you know little uh, certificate. Thanks, uh, you're guys. Not official yet then. No. When, when do you get it? Though? You got to order it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's a lame. You gotta pay for it. It's just a scam, man. That's the that's the God scam right there. <laughs> All right. So okay. So now well, we know uh, that. Okay. So now we know that Tiffany Barbie is like a God freak, and that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Jesus uh, freak. You freaking. Yeah, All right. Jesus now freak. You end up anyway. in your house on Sunday. Like, listen, I have some things I need to talk to you about. Uh, <laughs> I wanted. To, are you done with your check-in oh, business? Do you want? Okay. I, no, yeah. I'm asking you. Are you finished? Oh with yeah, the fine. Whatever. Thank God I will. Because I, I wanted to talk to you about something serious. And I don't know. Tiffany doesn't listen to the show on a regular basis, Uh-oh. but uh, some of our listeners do. Sorry. And again, if you want to call in, 727-493-2055 is the number. Are we bringing uh, this up already? Yeah, I had it listed in the beginning right here. All right. <laughs> Tiffany Barbie, then check in, and All then right. now we, this. We have some major controversy going on here I, at the I show. Wouldn't, listen, I wouldn't call it major, but as our listeners know, we do call have it. Andrew Hall. Andrew Hall. Who calls into the show, mm-hmm. uh, is our crippled comedy correspondent. We have a phone call right now already. Oh no no no! Let me let's go through. Well, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah let's not rush. Eventually, it. Yeah, yeah. If he's listening, fine. Okay, so Andrew Hall is called on the show. I don't know if you know Tiffany. Andrew Hall, and for our listeners who don't know, Andrew Hall is a uh, had M, uh, multiple sclerosis. That yeah, way? Mo- I, MS. Like that. Yeah, yeah, MS. Yeah, MS. Whatever this mm-hmm. quake I, I think it was MS. Yeah. Anyway, and Andrew, if I get it wrong, don't be pissed. All right, because now we're all weird. Seriously, with dude. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Andrew has MS. He he totally becomes self sufficient, whereas most people said he wouldn't be. He mm-hmm. gets his own place, what? and then what happens, JB? After that, he gets his own place. He's out. Uh-oh. He's he's walking like the, with uh, and then the help his of crutches. Xbox goes red ring of death. <laughs> he cannot play his Call of Duty. <laughs> no, to, that's not what happened. He got run over by a drunk driver. No. Two drunk drivers. Yes, lost half of his pelvis, one of his legs. Right. Yeah. So Andrew's been calling the show, and he and listen, he's very uh, well connected. Andrew, don't don't pity Andrew. Oh, Oh, no. Do not have pity on Andrew. Don't pity Andrew. He, and, makes, he yes. makes fun of you. That's right. Andrew rubs elbows with people you could never meet, Tiffany, even though oh, you've, yeah. met a few, you've met a few. Yeah. 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 The well, Holy Trinity. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but so Andrew's calling the show. At one point, Andrew actually called in in a drive through and we have an intro for Andrew. Uh, but, uh, Nolan, can you play the, uh, can you play the, the uh, Andrew's intro just so we can hear it? Andrew uh, Hall's intro? I can't even talk. Yeah. yeah, this is Andrew. Yeah, this is Andrew Hall's intro. I'm in this too, though. Ladies and gentlemen, That's me. it's time for half of a comedy report from half of a person. Oh. Here's our crippled comedy correspondent, Andrew, with the hit and run comedy report. Oh. <laughs> that's like okay, so that's all right. So, so that so that is the intro that we play when Andrew calls the show. And and listen, Andrew loves that intro. Loves it. At one point, he actually went through a drive-thru of a restaurant at, with his phone on on the air and asked uh, if he could get half off his order because he was half a person. Yes. <laughs> Management came out. Very funny. So Andrew has awesome. a great... Right. So Andrew has a great sense of humor about his deal uh, and the situation has been calling By the in. way, he will be displaying that sense of humor where? Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, but that was nice. He's I trying like, to pump you up. No, it was nice. It was no, good. No, whatever. Dump it. No, because I want to work up to what we have done and how we've interacted with cool. Andrew. I got the people. Okay. We got time. <laughs> All right, so so here's what happens. Andrew's calling the show. We get friendly with him. We found out that Andrew actually was in Dolphin Tale, the movie. Uh, oh, cool. Right. Like the last I just scene. watched that. Right, and that's how we started off with Andrew. He was going to get the prosthetic limb from the same people that helped out the dolphin. We, dolphin limb, right? Dolphin. Uh, he's gonna, yeah, he's getting prosthetic. the dolphin technology from the, dolphin science. Dolphin technology, that's yeah. right. So that's I how know. we start with Andrew. So anyway, long and short, he tells us that he's met. Uh, who was, What was the band that he told us he met? What was that band? Huh? Some band. Remember, he was going to some retreat. Queensryche. Queens. Was it Queensryche? <laughs> no, no, probably not. I would not. That would blow Sugar me Ray. Up. Sugar Ray. <laughs> Smash Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, so he's and then he's also connected with Montel uh, Williams. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Well, yes, sort of. I mean, it's a weird sort of a connection. I couldn't. I was like, where did? Where we, so anyway, Montel uh, was How very, cool would it be if he knew Montel Jordan, too? That's what I'm saying. Because then he'd know Montel, he'd yeah. know Montel Jordan, and he know Jordan. That's right. This is how we do it. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be cool. All right, so anyway. <laughs> so Andrew's calling the show, blah, 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 blah. He calls in last week. We get on the Montel Williams sort of thing, and Marty, uh, I think you've met Marty before, Marty Hoffman. Marty Hoffman, ladies and yeah. gentlemen, our Texas comedy correspondent. That's right. Uh, Marty says something about him kind of sucking up to Montel Williams, but he said it in sort of a sexual... Anyway... Andrew Hall, unbeknownst to you, was not. A, he was upset with that. Unannounced to me. No, unbeknownst to you. Unbeknownst. Unbeknownst. 
<laughs> Unbeknown. It was a duel. It was a duel. duel. Yes, he wanted to duel. <laughs> he was very pissed off and said, told Nolan, his cousin, Nolan uh, right. Ray. Or Nolan Ray, ladies and gentlemen, Nolan. owner and producer of Comedy Slam Radio. <laughs> As well as entertainment global media. It's like sitting next to a Sugar freaking... Ray's cousin. Sugar Ray's cousin. <laughs> hey, Zeus. No, that's the Trinity in there. You need to look. There he is. I know. So anyway, so he tells... He, he, okay. He'll be back in five minutes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look like he's doing baseball right. science. All right. Back, 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 that's back. right. Tiffany Barbie does not believe Nolan Ray is part of God. <laughs> <laughs> Pop Sorry. The, oh, wow, he was so upset by that. Scene. And now we've pissed off two people in the same family. That's messed up. So anyway, Andrew Hall is Nolan Ray's cousin, and he he calls him and tells him, "Look, I'm not going to call on the show anymore. I'm not going to do it." He was upset. Aww. He was really upset. Yeah, I, I, this was all news to me. I just found this out right. yesterday. Yeah, we went through our Fourth of July holiday, and here's the thing: he was as as uh, Jordan was alluding to. We had taught, we had spoken with Andrew last show, and I will be at the Kicking Wing. In Largo, I, I, it pains me to I'd say that. that. No, I think it's going to be a good show, but it just pains me to say kick and wing. I don't even want to say <laughs> that to people. You know what I mean? Where are you playing at? The kick and wing. Kick and wing. Did you just say kick and wing? That'd be Chris cool. gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he last headlined in a bowling alley, but he's embarrassed <laughs> about kick and wing. <laughs> Come out! Well, like crushing that We're bowling looking forward out. to seeing you there. I crush in that ball. Don't, right. don't kid yourself about the skills. <laughs> All I'm saying is kicking wing is hard to say. So anyway, so here we worked out with Andrew that we would have him come out. He's never done stand up. He's interested in doing stand up. Come up and do a set, Andrew. And actually, Andrew's got some pretty decent one liners, right? You've heard them. Oh hell yeah! They're hell all yeah. centered around his handicap. Oh and, yeah, and the fact that he's missing half of his body. He's a hell of a guy. <laughs> We've never actually met Andrew. I've never seen Andrew. I we tried to get him. Yeah. So he was going to come out and do a set on the show. So now uh, he he's he wanted no part of us at all. He was pissed off. He was very upset. Now, I know Marty is listening. Marty always listens to the show because he loves to hear we us talk about him. That's Unless he's, like, chasing Mexicans around his yeah, house. Yeah, maybe. Man. He does know. that a lot. Uh, so Marty's actually the reason that this whole thing blew up, that Andrew got pissed off and that he's now Marty's he's always involved somehow, dude. Right, and we've told Andrew time and time again, just as I told you about your religious you know, freakishness. Uh, <laughs> we don't care. We don't. We're, it's we, just, very, we don't care. It's a respectful thing. We're, we're very respectful, right? I've got so many problems of my own. <laughs> What? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. So now I don't know. Do we do we get mad at Andrew for like putting us on? Listen, because uh, it's obvious. And this is the second person we pissed off. You've met Tim Kidd, right? You know Tim Kidd, Tiffany. Yeah. Tim Kidd is, won't talk to us anymore. He I don't know. He's, he's pissed us. He's the, over it. Oh, yeah. Uh, because he came on the show and he, it got a little rough. It just got a little rough. Let's just say that. <laughs> it wasn't that rough. Uh, and now he's pissed, and now it's Andrew Aww. Hall. Yeah, no, well, Tim Kidd, we can handle that yeah. stuff. He's a comic, and we'll t- I'll talk to him when he comes. You got to be come. more laid back, like me. You can say whatever. I you can't offend me. You know, I like, can't oh. offend you. Oh, really? I'm, wow. Really? I'm, Did you just throw that out there? Yeah, yeah. Here's a challenge for the rest of the show. Like seriously, <laughs> like I could talk about religion and not be offended. Like you could say you're whatever. I'm not. Gonna, I like, could say to you that it. I think that anybody that believes in religion. Uh, is believing in like fantasy sort of stuff that wouldn't bother you. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I mean, like I used to be atheist, you know. So I've been like all the different. Well, everybody angles. starts as atheist. I was Tiffany. Jewish. I actually have a certificate for you being Jewish, Jewish and everything. How, I, I see that bothers me. How do you what? just be Jewish? I don't. Yeah. I, like I had to go. I had to learn Hebrew, and I got a certificate and everything. Like I've done my spiritual journey. How does a German person convert <laughs> to Judaism and then say he's the chosen one? Yeah, you know, uh. the, the, it's part of the chosen people. You know what I mean? That whole. Sort of lineage back into that region. You know what I mean? Maybe they were just humoring her into it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <coughs> no, it obviously exactly. didn't take. <laughs> I like when people can talk to each other, and that's what you know we yeah. strive for. Uh, and at the same time, again, we need to be able to laugh at anything. And that's what I'm sort of sending out to Andrew. Like, Andrew, we started this thing, and if you're listening, Andrew, listen, I'm not going to apologize to you. I won't do that. I'm not, because I don't think we did anything wrong. No, you, Marty you feel, did something wrong. It was right. all Marty's fault. And, and we, Andrew, I mean, if you'd ever seen him do his kind of dancing at the castle that he does, <laughs> you, you wouldn't feel so bad about it. You, you'd know what made fun of you and how ridiculous it is. Right, but at the same time, listen. I've if, seen him rub up on Peter Pan. <laughs> that is Peter not a Pan. Lot. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a guy. We'll show you the website. There's a guy uh, <laughs> in the Tampa Bay area that's famous, and he's actually famous nationally. He's been on Conan a couple of times. It was, really? on, I think, it was on Letterman as well. Uh, and he dresses up as Peter Pan, little boy blue. Yeah, the guy's a total freak. Except the page boy haircut <laughs> with the straight. I'm not kidding. And a big huge fat girl dressed up as Tinkerbell falls yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they got married. Awesome. Do they get married? I think so. There he is. Look at this guy. Yeah. Look at this guy right here. That is Peter Pan, and he has been seen at the castle uh, nightclub. Yeah, he liked us for a while. Yep. 
But then we asked if we could I have him on the radio show, and he like blew us off. He's I like, don't think he's married to anybody. Oh man, if, if you need to pull up like like phone. he's married to like I don't know. Anyway, aside from that, <laughs> uh, if any if anything has happened in the show, we have given Marty really bam. I mean, he and he handles it. He's the only one that's really handled, it, except for Tiffany. I have to say, you it's it can be frantic in here. I've had other people from I, we had listen, we had the no remorse people coming here, and when I kind of came at them a little gruffly, I think they got kind of pissed at me. It's sort of a race war thing happening now. I don't know. They don't oh, acknowledge no. me. You saw how hip hop over there. He didn't <laughs> acknowledge me at West all. West Side Story. In here. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. They may have said something to the cleaning crew. Even know? Did you notice the cleaning crew when we came in? Uh, they were like really angry at us. No, no, not angry. What? But yeah, no, but don't us. put that down for a second. Like her, him yeah, married. That's him. that's him. Oh, he got married by the wow. king. Oh, she's cute from the shoulders up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, we got a phone call. Oh, uh, we lost it. That was a lost face. They had the phone call and then we lost it. Anyway. Uh, what the hell was I saying? I have no idea where I was going oh, with that. No. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's all right. About you, you, people just, being laid back. Yeah, I know. You were saying how you... <laughs> oh, about everyone... the gangs over there? <laughs> yes, the no remorse people. Thank you, Tim. Uh, okay. See. Are you still upset about the no remorse? No, he's like, I'm not he upset. thinks himself is so hip hop. They're and, no, <laughs> and he's just afraid. He's <laughs> upset that he thinks you're saying the N word over there and he's not allowed to say it. And he's so upset about that. That is upsetting. It is. It is upsetting. Well, for you. Why I can't really I care. be cool in hip hop? I want to be in a Jay Z video. Because you, you're 49 years old. I'm not 49 years old. You listen to Rock I, I listen to the many The last times show you went to is Reverend Horton Heat. That's the only show The last five shows you went to were Reverend Horton Heat. No, the last show I went to was the high. I went to the hives. When you had your birthday last, wasn't that you that everyone said you're like 55 or something? Yes. Like, wasn't that, what was the joke? No, that was Jordan doing what he Jordan does. Jordan said, well, Jordan, how did you old did you say he was? And I was like, wow, he looks great for his age. And then, 56 years old. <laughs> he said he's like 56. I'm like, wow, you look excellent. <coughs> no, but here's my, uh, uh, beside the, the cleaning crew, and I was asking a serious note, did you see the cleaning crew when he came in? Remember when we first started here like a year, because we're almost up to a year anniversary here at wow. Comedy Slam Radio at Global Media Entertainment uh, Inc., and uh, when we came, it was one lady and her kind of hot, like, uh, daughter, remember? Okay. Then when we just walked by, the woman had, like, eight like, kids. It like a 12-year-old like, kid. Dude, it it looked like a gypsy caravan. Mm-hmm. They were all, none of them would smile at me. They're all, I think they were all afraid. We Are you upset port- that you didn't get smiled at by the gypsy kids who get dragged to their mom's cleaning job and I, are not having any fun at all? <laughs> I smiled at that kid. He didn't even look at me. I, I wouldn't smile back at you either, dude. <laughs> He's having a terrible time. Yeah. He wants to be home playing his his Nintendo. He's got and, no Nintendo. Oh, yo, quit whining for yourself. We got a call. Let's take our call. <laughs> <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. Welcome. Welcome to Double Special. Hey, hello. Andrew Hall, what's going on? All right, Andrew hey, Hall, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Here, we got the intro again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for half of a comedy report from half of a person. Here's our crippled comedy correspondent, Andrew, with a hit and run comedy report. Andrew Hall, ladies and gentlemen, calling in live from his lair in Pasco County. <laughs> Looking forward to your debut at Kicking Wings, my friend. <laughs> I know. I'm, I, you know, I'm so, I'm so jacked up and so excited about doing it. You know, I tell you what, if it stand up, I'm going to I'm gonna hop. I, I'll, hell, I'll hop to the back of my wheelchair and stand up. Now, all right. Well, listen. I'm so excited. Andrew, you got it, yeah. Okay, so listen, we. Uh, uh, I, I'm excited about your stand-up as well, but I'm more uh, kind of. Uh, uh, I don't know. I want to say. I don't want to say sad, but I'm a little upset that you thought that you you got offended. Tell me. Tell me what it was about last time you were on the air that you felt you you know you felt was uh, kind of over the top. What did the mean man do? Oh man? well, no. Oh, actually, well, actually, let me go ahead and just extend a huge thank you to Mar- to Marty for showing that. You know, not everybody's going to respect you in the comedy business. I already know that and not everybody's going to respect you in the, in the entertainment business. I mean, it's good. I, I've worked with people. I've worked with people on, on, on a movie set with major actors that were jerks. You know, just because they're gay, they can dress pretty pretty. You know, they think they're the best thing since the grass grew green. Okay, um, but, but listen. But no, but, but Marty, but, Marty said something to the likes of, I'm probably giving my, my friend Montel a hand job. I mean. Oh, okay. See, now, now here's the thing. Let me just throw this right out there right now. I didn't hear that, uh, and it's, it's kind of funny, but I, I didn't hear it. But <laughs> and I, and I'm sure he didn't mean it uh, literally. You know that, right? I mean, you understand that, that he's oh. a comedian and that he's, you know, he just says stuff to kind of. It's a shock thing. Yeah, it's it's a sign of a it. weak comedy guy. <laughs> What he is. Yeah, he went. He went blue immediately. And then, and then, it gets no. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. And then he just runs and goes. Oh, you know, I got that kid bought me a millionaire next year. I can't believe I even said anything bad about him. I'm like, yeah, I couldn't believe that either. 
<laughs> All right, listen, but let's let look, let's lay the slate clean because we're gonna you are gonna go do the show on the twenty sixth, right? Or the twentieth, right? Yeah, no, I'll take a risk, you know. I'll, I, I, I mean, try take... to kick Marty's ass. I'd probably no, lose. Wait, In fact, no. I'd probably lose my other leg, but I'd try. <laughs> no, we're not talking about... Pay- Listen, I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about a pay-per-view UFC yeah. event here, we're Andrew. Not, we're, not, we're not doing duels anymore. That yeah, was no, at the beginning of the show. D- no duels. <laughs> yeah, we don't want you to fight, Marty, because you... Oh, gotta, who's, who's, the, who's the hot girl in the background? Who's uh, the girl I heard? All right, Andrew, that is Tiffany Barbie. Tiffany Barbie, say hello to Andrew Hall. Hi, Andrew Hall. How are you? <laughs> hey, Tiffany. Thank you. I'm doing great. Thanks. Awesome. Even better now that I can hear your voice. Oh, um, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> um, what, what was your question? Oh, that's uh, it? I thought you were going for Tiffany. I thought you were like, bam, I'm in. Yeah, hey, dude. Tiffany. <laughs> Do you know what the world's most interesting hey, man well, does? I'm going to tell you, Tony. Uh, I'll always swing for the fences. I swing for the fences. I've got both arms. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, back to the comedy thing. On the 20th, I... Tiffany, I'm at first base. I'm trying to get the third. Help me out here. No, I'm <laughs> trying to get the third. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's Dude, like, you got to... Speaking of hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right, so, Andrew, so again... Chicken wing, talk to me, talk to me. Yes, so, Andrew. All right, so Tiffany, t- anything you want to ask Andrew? Well, listen, we talked about Andrew's history here in town Montel uh, Williams uh, the Dolphin Tail anything you want to ask Andrew anything at all that comes to mind nothing at all Tiffany Please. she's got that awkward look on her face again <laughs> it goes right to the awkward look I, I didn't prepare for this at all <laughs> it's, just, it's just like talking to somebody at a bar say my friend came up and is Andrew and he mm. comes up to the bar and I'm like hey this is Andrew and you say hi I'm Tiffany and he goes and he says hey Tiffany what's up and It'd you be say sort of a hobble by the way <laughs> <laughs> no, hell well, no. He's a- actually, you know, I, you know, I, I got to be honest. I went to Hard Rock two weeks ago, and it, you know, it changed my life. You know, because I, I, as a as, as a young man, you know, I'm, you know, for a while I was nervous as to and, and Tiffany. Maybe maybe you can, you know, feed me some some input on this. But you know, I was nervous as to you know how 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 I'm going to be viewed. How women and girls are. I mean, is every girl that walks in the mall check that guy and make sure he has four limbs? No. And so I paid the cover. For this milk thing, right? So, no, that so I paid the cover, right? Before I know it, like 20 minutes later, you know, I'm having a good time. I had a drink. I'm tipping go go dancers. Uh-huh. And I'm making out with a milk, you know. It changed my life. Good job. It changed my life. Listen, wait amazing. a second. Andrew, awesome. you, you made out with a milk? Yes. Damn. Yes. Did yes. you go to Floyd's? Is Floyd still in the Hard Rock Cafe? I don't even know. Because I know there's like a nightclub in there. I can't afford to go in that damn place. I have no money. But Every anyway, I mean, it was great. No, no. If I and next year, if I ever do a party or if, or if I ever DJ, yeah, no, I'm I'm buying go go dancers. I will hire them. And I'll, oh, it's, it's change my life. I'm not joking. No, I'll hire, no, seriously. You know, they, they, they but they dance to a cadence. They dance to the beat of like Skrillex or Skrillex. You know, and Pitbull. Oh, I knew and, at some and, point. You know, like, well, no, and here's the thing, Andrew. What? Some guys, some guys, and it's apparent that you are probably one of those guys. Some guys are just just good with dancers. I, on the other hand, when I go to the clubs, I, I don't know what to say to them. Go-go dancers, strippers, I don't know what to say. It's very awkward for me. Oh, one, I girl, feel- one girl was like, oh, hey, baby, are you a vet? I was like, no, I'm not a veteran. I was like, but can I put my arm around you? She's- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um- that would never work for me. They'd be like, yeah, you better step the hell off, Baldy. <laughs> I have an, uh, my neighbor actually has paralysis and he's in a wheelchair. I actually went to the park and I hung out with him today, but my uncle, <laughs> my uncle said to me, he's like, he's like, Guys in wheelchairs get so many ladies. Like, that- like my uncle's like dead serious. Like he was like, guys in wheelchairs get so much ass. He sits like- next. He sits next door to the guy in the wheelchair. There's like, they're coming and they're going. It's a train of women. That's what he says. He says that yeah, they get a lot of action. I so believe- there oh, you go. Wow. No, Andrew, I- if you get a puppy too, you're gonna be living an axe oh, commercial gosh, for the rest yeah. of your life. Be- <laughs> All right. So, are you still there, Andrew? <laughs> Okay, we're talking. One minute he's he, he oh, went he's off to go own. pick up a girl. He's no, like, see you later. Yeah, he just he's like, what? No, he had sex. That's, he's having sex with him. Yeah. I just want to. I just want Andrew to know. And if Andrew's <laughs> listening, I, and he's going to call back and say, I just I, no, but he he's he doing listens. sex to a milf. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, He's the like, I'm going season. back to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want Andrew to know that. I want him to be part of the show because you've heard him for a couple minutes. He's, he's yeah, interesting. Yeah, he's cool. He's an interesting mm-hmm. person. And I also want to see him do stand-up because I think it would be... Uh, oh, I've I never seen anything even close to that. I think uh, except it's going to be Josh like Blue. a 20-minute stammer. But go anyway. Yeah, be, but you know what? Who knows? It's performance art. You roll with it. You feel the emotion. As long as you feel the emotion. I think that he can deliver like a Jesse... A, I'm sorry, a Jesse Jackson sort of speech. You know what I mean? 
Really? He, uh, no, I do. I think he could really uh, blow out Jesse Jackson, so to speak. With that sort of fervor, with that sort of commitment. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Jesse Jackson back on the line with us. <laughs> Is he back? He's back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm serious. Wait, wait, uh, yeah, I was also a hard rock and there was this other young girl, right? Oh, fine. Real thin, tall, legs are beautiful. <laughs> Um, and she's like, oh, hey, honey, are you a vet? And I was like, no, but can I still put my arm, arm around you? She's like, yeah, just don't go blow the way. So I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, it's cool. It's all like right. the same line but, every uh, time. <laughs> He's on a boat. Hey, are you a vet? But no, can I put my arm around you? Bam! There it is. <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least he's being honest because he can say he is a vet. You know uh, what I mean? But, yeah. I, but I'm a vet, too. I'm a vet, too. I was in the United States Navy. And if I said, they'd be like, yeah, that's nice. I, I mean, it wouldn't even, even be no consideration at all. Although, Andrew, if you end up going to veterinarian school that'd be like that'd be total cool <laughs> no you guys are so bad <laughs> no listen i i, I want to say this in, you, all, in all seriousness jb relax all right in all seriousness uh <laughs> we'd like you to be continue to continue to be a part of the show and I, I i seriously want you to come out and do this set uh at the show on the 20th so is that a, is that a yes or no will you be on the show or are you going to come and do no, it some- no i'm not i'm no i'm not I'm not just giving you lip service. I mean, seriously, I, I'm gonna, I, I, you know, I, I'm gonna, I will get stage time at Kick and Wing. It, it's, yeah. it's really gonna be a blast. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I've spoken to no one about. I, I've spoken to no one about this, and, and give it six months, and I'm gonna push hard and sponsor a Comedy Slam. But give it six months, I, I yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go mainstream. Right, we'll, we'll be pretty hot. Andrew, how can we make up to you for what Marty did? I mean, should we? Should we punish Marty somehow? What do we need to do to make this up to you? No, it's just, uh, you know, I, I can't help it. I like to prove him wrong. You know, you want okay. to go ahead and Andrew. talk smack. You know, I just, I just turned Excuse black. me. Go ahead, yes. You're let me, re- let me rephrase that, Andrew. Andrew. We really want to punish Marty. <laughs> so what would be a good way to do that? Yes, we're looking for a reason to punish him. We're using you as an excuse. We don't need you as an excuse, but it's a good one. <laughs> How can we punish Marty? Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, think, know. Think, I don't know. I, I like I like to play the fire. I like tell him he dropped something and then like let a firecracker and throw it at him. I still yeah, got a bunch of fireworks. But he's, in, but he's in Texas. We can't do it. Mm. We need to send like a repo guy over to his house. We, we want to do like like serious emotional damage. <laughs> oh. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Send, 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 a, send a repo crew over to his house to repo his couch or some crap like that. You know? Hey, like, I don't know if you guys ever seen a movie called Murder. It's about you know guys who are paralyzed, right? And the guys at Jackass meet him and Johnny Knoxville is like, hey, wherever Jackass one of the paraplegics goes, hey, we know you can get the girls to kiss us, but can you get them to kiss each other? <laughs> 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 you are off the chain, dude. Yeah. All right, listen. Uh, July twentieth. Uh, I gotta say it. Kick and wing. We're gonna be a kick and wing in Hudson. Uh, I want you to come yeah, out and do your guessing. That's on fifty two. That's on fifty two. All right, let's so, come out and do I'm, it. I'm so excited to meet you face to face, buddy. Um, and uh, you know, if I, again, you get to meet great with Porner in August. Um, uh, pictures with Montel. If I can bring a signed copy of uh, signed signed copy signed copy of Dolphin Tail. To Tiffany, I will gladly do that. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm so I'm, really, I'm so excited. S- signed by the Dolphin, which would be oh. that's yeah. You can't get that. You know how much <laughs> that'll sell on eBay. Uh, do, uh, uh, Andrew, uh, what was the band that you're going to yeah. see? You're going to like a retreat with a band. What band is it? No, it's a meet and greet. I'm meeting Mark Schulman. He used to work for Pink. It's Foreigner. You know, oh, for Foreigner. Okay, and we were. Uh, cold as ice. <laughs> Keep going. Living the sacrifice I love. I like that band. I want to hear the whole damn song. I want to answer to do karaoke. Tiffany, I like your mom. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so. <laughs> now, listen, Andrew, Andrew, <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> Tiffany actually is an accomplished uh, comedian. She has done com- been on stage many times. And be careful. She knows the one God. <laughs> The mono god. The mono god. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, you dropped it down to hey, gosh. Hey, you guys know somebody named named the the Chisty girl? Chisty girl. She's blonde. She's got blonde hair. The who girl? Cheapy girl. The Chisty. Yeah. Chiefy. C H I S T. Cheaty girl. I don't know. Ask, Cheeky. Ask Nolan. Yeah, Nolan probably knows her. Right? Oh wait, is that blonde chick? What blonde chick? I think we know yes, her. She yes, was on the yes, show yes, like yes, yes, two yes, weeks ago. Blonde. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What about her? We know her. No, I know. Anyway, like, I mean, I, I, you know, I see a rec house specialist, right? Like she and she, um, she did the like the diagram of like the 
teens, right? She, she, she's seen, she's like seen my penis. But anyway, like we're friends. <laughs> Do you know that? She, oh, <laughs> she's seen my what? penis. We, we are friends. She has seen my penis. We are friends. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my so, baseball? <laughs> you, you work in the medical. Field, I gotta be honest. Um, I, I totally give give you my hippo right. <laughs> uh, okay, you're breaking up a little, Andrew. You got to, you're like censoring yourself. It's really weird. You're like, ah, hello. I think your giant penis is creating interference with your phone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew. Listen, we're gonna let you go, buddy. But always a pleasure to talk to you. Do you want to say anything to Tiffany Barbie before you leave? Tell her about how you pump it up. No, Tiffany Barbie here. Uh, uh, would, would, now, would they be attending as well? Will you be attending as well, Tiffany? Attending what? July <laughs> with the kicking wing. Come on. <laughs> um, I can't, I can't I guess, meeting I don't. your mom. No, kicking wing. <laughs> My yeah. mom needs to meet somebody. So yeah. Damn. <laughs> no, uh, I guess a real. He look. I look. may be at the kicking wing. She may be at the kicking wing. I may be. All right. Well, you know, I tell you, it's been so great to uh, talk to you and meet you, listener. If I can get, if I can hook you up with uh, with tickets to uh, Warp Tour or Rock Fest, let me know. Uh, maybe some Mike Allstar signed stuff, some stuff by Joe Madden. I've, I've hung out with Joe Madden. You know, whatever I can do to hook you up. Let me know, and that's we'll what I'm saying. That that guy. <laughs> What? Andrew's no, that, that's what I'm saying. Andrew is the business. He's all he like, listen, is. I got, I'm in NFL Madden. I've hung up with Joel Madden. Uh, I got, you know. Andrew, just offer her a ride. Let her know you pick her up because she's gonna need a ride to kick him. Yeah, that's really. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my main issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the, the way to a girl's no. heart, Andrew, is to give her a ride to her place no. of residence. Uh, ride her home or ride her to kick and wing? Oh, sorry. No. Ride, her, ride her to kick and wing. It's Don't ride her home. Kick and wing. Just to, all right, Andrew. Sorry. Listen, do me a favor because this will be uh, – maybe we can pull this audio off. Just say real quick, you're listening to Double Special. This is Andrew Hall, and you're listening to Double Special. Just do that real quick. I want to hear what that sounds like. Uh, you, you are listening to Double Special featuring the crippled correspondence by Andrew Hall. <laughs> all right, one more time. Hold on. No one's going to roll tape. This is Andrew. Yeah, any way you want to do it, hit it. Go. All right, you are listening to the double special with your triple correspondent, Andrew Hall, with the double special. <laughs> Andrew! <Yeah! Yeah! laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, thank you so much for calling, dude. We'll be in touch. Uh, hopefully, we're going to do another show before uh, the show on the 20th. Uh, but I expect no, to see you there. Thank you for being you. You know, uh, hey, oh, listen, uh, yes. we're I'm slated for trial against the second best beach bar in Florida. That's what you heard this. Oh, that's right. Uh, this you're is... more than welcome to attend and watch and see some political fireworks behind the bench. <laughs> when when will that um, happen? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Political fireworks behind the bench? <laughs> when is the trial happening, yeah. Andrew? Uh, uh, later on this quarter. I, I don't have an exact date, but this <laughs> is on the record. Um, and then once we get closer... There will be further press releases via newspaper, uh, uh, Bay News 9, Fox 13, etc. All right. Oh, cool. All right. Keep us abreast. We'll keep track of that. You are actually suing the bar that served the guys that hit you that caused this uh, this handicap, right? Uh, well, sure. That, that, that I essentially, yeah, caused the, the – I mean, I don't mean to sound so horrid, but the maiming of my left leg, yeah. 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 Um, they served him. <laughs> Uh, that 10 wasn't. Long Islands, and so for every one Long Island, there's eight liquors. So we figure eighty liquors, you know. <laughs> no, and then listen, maimed mm. isn't really that horrible. If you're gonna, you know, it's not horrid. You can go better than maimed to really make people go, "Wow, that was horrid." The way you described that, maimed is uh, it's a good word. Maimed is good. That was kind of soft, actually. Get like pillow. All right, so Andrew, <laughs> do you know eighty liquors is over seventy six <laughs> Tookie Pop? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Andrew, listen, I, I we'll talk to you next week. Hopefully you call in. And so all of this business with the Marty thing, because listen, when Marty calls in, we're going to give it to him, both barrels, uh, for being an oh, ass. Oh, yeah. Too. He's we'll, getting it, bro. He's get, He's going to get it. We're going to give it to him. All right? Hard. Well, no, okay. I, no, I appreciate that. But it is, when I'm the top sponsor of comedy, so when I, you know, when I surpass his notoriety, you know, I, I won't say, I won't look back and laugh and say, I told you so. No, nah, listen. Oh. We want everybody to get along. Marty will take his uh, just desserts, and and and, and so yeah. at, the, at this point, everything's good, right? And the most famous talk show host Marty right, yeah. ever gave Re a play. Record it, record it, oh, record, well, record it, because I want to watch it. My laptop's broke. I can't right. watch you guys. I can't check out Tiffany. I can't check out Tiffany's mom. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if Tiffany's mom is alive at this point. All right, that's okay. She's got to meet somebody. She's got to meet somebody. somebody. Listen, I, well, it's archived. I will send you the file. We'll get you. You'll be able to listen to it. We'll, we'll talk to Marty after. But as far as we're set right, right now. Take care, guys. All right, good night. There we go. Bam. Yeah, he just did that like a corporate guy, didn't he? He was like, listen, I, I don't know what's going on this quarter, but I got to go. I'm out of here. Bam. Jesus, that was creepy. What was that about your mom? 
Yeah, why were you bringing your mom into it? Yeah, what's you wrong with you, Tiffany? You brought up my mom. You, but you, he, you know what? You I went right along with it. I said she needs to meet, so she's like 50. <laughs> she can meet somebody. She's 51. Yeah, age. we can hook up at the kicking wing. Yeah. Uh, if you want to give us a call <laughs> in the studio, 727-493-2055. You can check us out on Ustream. We're, uh, I think we're streaming live right now. Yeah, that's right, ladies that's and gentlemen. Live, live on Ustream, because yep. I think that's the only place you can even see us anymore. That's right, right. Gmail. Uh, dot, uh, what is it? Uh, double special at Gmail. Mm -hmm. Double special at Twitter. Right now in the studio, we have Tiffany Barbie. Tiffany, always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, you're back in town. You got, you're got away from Heat Miser. That whole yes. situation is done. Yeah, so let's find out what uh, happened in L.A. I, what do you mean what happened? I, oh, I, you never went. That's right. Never went. I, she never went to L.A. No, didn't ever, we, we just covered all I this. I mean, I've been to L.A. a couple times, so have obviously. I. But so have yeah. I. Yeah. Okay, well, what happened was when you <laughs> left, like last time we saw you, the rumor was that you you like booked out for LA to be all famous. Yeah, yeah but we covered all this on the uh, on the birthday thing that we were all right. Did we well, do? that was Dave Frank's show. Yeah, he was, Jordan. Oh, wasn't I wasn't there. here for oh, that. Oh, you weren't there oh, for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So you're always there in my heart, Jordan. That's why I thought you would cover this because you're always with me in spirit, and I thought so you weird. just got I, that through I, osmosis. I don't like that I got a chair with no rollers today because I I'll can't get you away from you. I'll give you the heads up. So here's what happened. Tiffany was gonna go to LA. Yeah. No, I didn't sidetrack or anything. They went sidetracked. They got sidetracked. Well, I wasn't planning on going till this year anyway. But yeah, I mean, I. I, financially and stuff, I got sidetracked with Heat Miser. And not only that, with you, and not <laughs> only that, the Pauly Short thing kind of fell through. And we right. remember we had talked to her actually about the show. Uh, she was going to actually, Pauly Short was going to be in town, but he canceled all of his he shows. He canceled his show. Any reason why that happened? I don't know. I looked because I was going to buy the ticket. Yeah. And you were going to pay to see Pauly Short really? after well, he no, had you in a contest. It's not that. And then though. didn't continue it's the contest. It's not for him. It's for the improv. Like, I like to give, like, whenever a big comedian comes through, like Rob Schneider or anybody, I'll actually pay, even though I can get him for free. Like really? Rob I know. Don't you feel well, like. Well, no, I mean, like, like <laughs> yeah, I, I can Rob get. Rob Schneider's the name well, you threw out? I'm really? talking about, like, celebrity, like, like movie Wait, star let's people. back up. You met Rob Schneider, I'm guessing. I did, and so and he had an he left an impression. He was very nice, right? He was. Yeah, of course. He sure. was funny. Well, yeah, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Yeah. But but I'm just saying, like, even though I can get into the improv for free, I mean, I pay to get in. So like for Paul, I, I don't I do did. that. That makes me a horrible person. I know. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to pay. I feel so much better about myself about not having to pay to get in. I into know. Comedy. It makes me feel wonderful when I don't have to I pay. I just think it's nice to support. I don't know. Do you think Rob Schneider needs your twelve fifty? Honestly, like, doesn't it go to the improv? No, no. He gets well, a door he gets deal. The door. He gets a... That's true. Oh, for Christ's sake! I don't know. Leave you me support alone. them by buying drinks and paying big tips to the staff there. Leave me alone. Bingo. Okay. No, it's okay. You go there and you drink a little because you don't really you don't you don't drink alcohol, right? Oh, some a little bit here. A and there. little, yeah. Go I get did. hammered. Go to the improv and get no. hammered. That's no. really what makes the club work. When you go in there, and go. You know what? I'll Can have I buy, eight of like, those. Diet soda. No, you do shots, and then you buy nachos for people. Uh, random yeah. people. You buy. I'll have nachos. Buy some fine products from Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Buy a T-shirt or two. So don't buy Get... tickets to the improv. No, show. you don't need to buy tickets. You're I know. Tiffany, you're but Tiffany Barbie. Most of the time, I end up sitting in the comedian section, and it's not fair. Ex well, that's what I'm saying. Because I pay for the ticket, mm -hmm. and then exactly. I get stuck in the comedian mm -hmm. section. And how do you feel after that? I think, gosh, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't. I, I think, shouldn't have paid I for my that, ticket. <laughs> you feel right. cool as hell because you're in the comedian section. And we're in the here. back on bitch, we didn't oh. pay for anything. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't pay for anything. I don't say bitch, though. That's not nice. No, in my head I say I don't I say like that. I know you do. in the front, like if it's a bigger person. So. Anyway. Well, listen. We, really? But, I'm afraid they'll fall on me and crush me if they're bigger. <laughs> I like to sit up in the front with a small little people. I don't have to worry about it. I know. He, he muscles them around. Yeah, I, you, I used to be a big little person. Look at me. I, I still got the big strength. I just don't look as big. Yeah, what was that name? Raphael? That dude? He was terrifying. Raphael. Said, <laughs> what? What was that? Raphael. Or, or was it Raphael Iglesias? Or who do we have? Oh, oh it was, that was Gabriel Iglesias. Gabriel Iglesias, oh, so he, yeah. He, he hates comedy. That's why he doesn't even know. I know. Gabriel Iglesias. Now, I that's know a, who he is. And he's, I think he's, he was on Power Rangers or something. Was he? I don't know. No. He was the puffy Power Ranger. <laughs> Holy crap. We had Tiffany Barbie on the show. We wanted to have her in. Uh, we reconnected after she went on her, I don't even know what the hell. We, I don't know. Into the Twilight Zone. Now you're back. Uh, she went on a <clears throat> spiritual journey. And Jordan invites her on the show by actually sending her a message. And I knew when I read this message immediately. He's full of crap, but you bit, <laughs> you bit hook, line, and sinker. No, no, no. Pull I, up, wait, pull up the message. Pull uh, up, I gotta, I gotta, pull up I the message. Go when I go. read it, I thought he was joking. You did you? A did little you? bit, but I thought, be prepared. Because <laughs> this is Jordan. So, right, you never like, know. This could be homework. It could be homework. So you messaged me and said, I'd like to be in the show. I yeah, said, listen, you, anytime, yeah, anytime. Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on, I'm getting to it. Jordan <laughs> throws her a message yeah, that yeah. is like this. It's like an assignment. Listen, this is what we're doing, <laughs> which we never do with guests, by the way. No guest has ever been prompted on the show. Look, I have notes. You have notes? Give me these damn notes.
else? I want to read them. Ignore the one. The one's an appointment for a Friday, but well, otherwise. Be per- All right. So I started out. How did we start it out? Yeah. I just looked at the Tampa Improv website. Looks like Polly Shore canceled his shows. Bastards. Bummer. <laughs> he must have heard I was going and chickened out. Ha ha. <laughs> He's so flaky. Flaky. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Let me know when you guys want me to come and hang out during double special. 727. Redacted. Don't put my phone number on <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I didn't do that. No, he redacted it. He pulled it out of there. <laughs> okay. So Chris goes, any show, any time, right, baby. Was, no, any was, show, any time. Really? Is that the way it felt to you? That's how it looks. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean that's how it looks? <laughs> and you're holding, in your Facebook pictures, you're going, ooh, baby. No, anyway. I'm doing it. Oh, you're an ass. All so right. So I already find Hey, Tiffany, it'd be great if you could come on the show this week. We'll be focusing on Finland's recent moves toward <laughs> leaving the Euro. And also, if you could go ahead and check out the latest office of... Sure, something economic development report. <laughs> and I sent you a 160 page report on, uh, on Finland's economy. Which I, I have to say, I read like the first two pages. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> this report is from 2010. What relevance is this? This is a two year old report. <laughs> oh my God. It's, a, it's, it's the economy of Finland. It doesn't change that much in two years. <laughs> Did you read the report? A little. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I just Googled it and like threw the first result of it. I didn't even look at it. Here's what makes it even better, dude. Listen, listen, oh. this. listen, listen. Look, I brought euros. Th- yes. Yeah. We'll read your response. Well, Cool. I'll be there this Wednesday at 8.30 Girl. to 10.30. Hopefully I'm not late. I'll bring some of my euros. <laughs> I'm sure I have someone with my leftover British money somewhere. British money. Have- so so she took my request to bone up on the economic crisis in Europe and, and Finland's threat to leave the Eurozone by going, show and tell. <laughs> And I have. I will win show and tell for third grade at River. Yeah. All right. Oh gosh. So I have a stack of euros and pence. I don't know six pence or whatever the hell it is. Do you even know what these are? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what is that? What is that one right uh, there? uh, You know, you have no friggin' idea what these are. English money, perfect. But we only use euros a little bit there, and I only use these like when I went to France and Germany and Ireland and stuff. Yeah, because you're bastard. All right, that's fine. All right, listen, we got a phone call. Uh, Marty Hoffman is on the line. Let's go ahead and go to Marty. <laughs> oh, Marty is. Yeah, we got an intro for him too. It's not quite as colorful as Andrew's, but uh, it's nice. I like it. Are we gonna play it? Is it gonna happen? No, maybe not. Marty, you there? there yeah, go. I'm here. All, All right. right, shut up then. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the College Station Comedy Report with our comedy reporter, Marty Hoffman, live from Texas, where they have chickens and cows and Martys. So many Martys. (laughs) Mr. Marty Hoffman, how are you, sir? Oh, I'm, I'm good, I guess. What do you mean you get? Oh yeah, uh, right, exactly. Oh, yes, you're, you're feeling a little ass like now, aren't you? Marty. You're getting ready to get your legs cut out from under you. All right, aren't you? For, for, first of all, let's go ahead and give Marty a little bright spot in his life. Say hello to Tiffany Barbie. <laughs> hello, Tiffany Barbie. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you, Marty Hoffman? <laughs> I'm I'm about to get my butt ringed, apparently Aww. because oh. I said something stupid about someone. And now everybody's upset. That's what comedians do. <laughs> we accidentally <laughs> say bad yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. That's what comedians do. Thank you, Barbie, or <laughs> Tiffany Barbie. You're I appreciate welcome. it. That makes me feel much. Now she doesn't like me, though, because I called her Barbie instead of <laughs> Tiffany Barbie. Oh. I'm offended. Damn it. <laughs> You're just pissing off people all over Next the place. Next week, she'll be calling in saying, <laughs> oh, Marty called me Barbie. That means that he thinks I'm some sort of blonde, brainless bimbo or something. But I'm not. Oh. I'm not plastic at all. I'm a real person. You need to chew him out. And so now I'll get it from No, get it from Marty. You <laughs> You're only going to offend her when you suggest she gave hand jobs to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or yeah. something. I don't know. The Holy Trinity. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was heat miser. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, so you heard Andrew, and you heard. Do you remember making that comment to Andrew at all about the hand job? Because I don't remember that. Yes, nope. I totally remember making that comment. All right, could you go and ahead? And then I totally made the comment about because he's going to have money, I shouldn't have got on his bad side. Like I was going to suck up to him to use him for money. <laughs> so you, right. you're going to do that? That's not cool. No, God, no. They're jokes. <laughs> I don't know you, Marty. I mean, let's look at you. You, you're already a parasite. Yeah, but you, he is. He's an unemployed layabout 
who has a wife who has like a career and works hard and he just lays about and <laughs> and and then takes in you know mexican children and and does horrible th- i don't know what you do all day what do you do marty well today <laughs> i cleaned the house and i did dishes and i took care of Isaac and, and Marin and then Pallone came over and played for a while too so I was taking care of three kids and playing and you just don't know how to, hard it is to be a house husband it is rough <laughs> can I bring in a little extra money for watching one of them <laughs> what was the third one's name so you're running an unlicensed daycare Pallone his, name, his real name is Francisco but they call him Pallone Pallone in Spanish means bald and um and apparently he didn't have much hair when he was a kid so. Does he have hair now? Yeah. How old is he now? Yeah, he's got plenty of hair now. He's got he's got great hair now. Well, stop calling him bald. Why? Yeah. Why would you do that? Why did you say when he's a kid? What is he like? Twenty now? What do people call him? Oh. It's just the name that everybody calls him. No one calls him Francisco. Everybody calls him Pallone. I would, if I was Francisco, I'd be pissed off about that. <laughs> you know, I, don't I have a full shaggy head of hair now, and you're still calling me bald. Well, how do you say it in Spanish? Uh, Pallone. Pallone. And let me interrupt real quick and say. We got high-speed internet. How is this conversation going now, baby? Huh? It's going well. I didn't even I didn't even have to say over or anything. This That's is what I'm awesome. Saying. Oh. Tiffany doesn't know. We had a huge lag. Uh, I remember get, that whole 500 thing. Right. Right. Exactly. And now we don't have to. It's very nice. Nolan, uh, applause, applause to you. Wonderful. Wait, Yay. that's not Nolan. That's not Nolan. No, he's got, he's got highlights in her hair. Who the hell is that? Holy crap. It's pretty, right. Who are you? All right. So, no. we got. The, <laughs> I would like to give Nolan credit. I've congratulations to Nolan for getting it and I do think that you are part of God so <laughs> all right so listen Andrew was upset I think we I think we smoothed it over fairly well not well a little bit but I think yeah. he's still angry at you, Marty. I, don't, I don't know he, he still seems pretty he seems pretty angry he didn't get that I was just joking and I say random crap just because I like to start stuff to make the show you know, mm-hmm. no, but, but entertaining. Well, listen, but Jordan does the same thing, and so far, the only people that have pissed off people on this show are you and Jordan. I have pissed off nobody. Well, you pissed off Tim. You Kidd. pissed off Tim. You Kidd. were totally involved in that. I don't I recall not, him no. saying like he's still friends with you and not me. You hijacked. Well, he's not going to even talk to you. You're I mean, all I'm saying he is he never that- even actually really broke up with me. He did all his breaking up with you. <laughs> uh, we could still be friends, as far as I know. Well, oh yes, Tiffany. Maybe Marty should just apologize. All right, Marty, that's a great idea. Tiffany uh, has suggested that maybe you just apologize right now on the air to Andrew Hall, and Unle- we'll- unless you don't feel like you have to do that. I'm not going to force you to do that. No, you're, you're- make him do. No, I no, think you should apologize so he can critique it. You, you, you live as it happens. All right, all right. You want to go ahead and do an apology? Hold on. Let's get a. Little, can you get a little music? Oh, apology okay. music. Uh, I'm not even plugged in. You're not plugged in. Oh, crap. What have you been doing all this time? You haven't even plugged yourself into the internet? It's been so interesting the whole time. We haven't needed it. For Christ's sakes, man. I thought you were ready to go. We had music. Do you have in mind what you want to say to Andrew, knowing what you said to him, how you offended him, and his connections? Um, You know what? I'm just going to be honest and speak from the heart. All right. Hold on. Uh, (laughs) uh, Is this going to take a long time? Because I'll just have him go right into it. You don't even know. He's wandering around. He's looking around. Maybe that's the plug. Is that the plug? That maybe that's the plug. There's the plug. Is that the plug? No, nope, that's attached to a box. All right. That's the okay. plug. All right, that's the plug. But now we got to wait for him to actually, he's going to have to type in apology uh, music and pull. Last time we had uh, sad music, and I don't know what the hell that was, but it was some sort of, I don't know what it was. What was it, dubstep? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Too bad we don't have like a piano in here. We could play it. Yeah, Mar- I know. Well, we did. At one point we had, and I, point. and I would like to do that again. If anybody's listening on the air right now and knows how to get in touch with David Perlow, all right, Marty, here we go. Here's some, <laughs> here's some apology music off coming up. I was going to ask for David Perla. Well, it's too late. we got All apology right. music. All right, are you ready to go ahead and do your apology, Marty? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess so. All, All right, right. I'll, I'll go ahead and intro this. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. are you Martin know? Hoffman now is going to apologize profusely <laughs> to our crippled court of comedy correspondent, Andrew Hall. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay, start the music. Yeah. Turn it up, turn it up. I can't hear it. Oh, he's got to turn it I up. I know. I'm yeah, very I unprepared. Hear, I can't hear anything. There we go. <laughs> um, Andrew, I just what, is this rock and roll? What the hell music is this? I can't. Just do the apology, I damn it! Tender. I need just, something sweet. No, it is. All right, hold on. Well, that was pretty good. Actually. It says letters of apology. I don't know how much more get, apologetic like, you can get than that. What about like Jimmy Fallon? You know that music they play when he's writing his thank you. Letters? I refuse to play another comedian's apology music, but that's yeah. a good suggestion. It's nice. 
I like it. It's no, like if it was nice... a yeah, but if it was a rock and roll band, we need to go. But a... something like that would be nice. Something yeah. like that would be nice. <laughs> All right, hold on. Come on, Jordan. Come on, baby. Maybe the way we were, or something. You know, the way we were. You know, something. Okay, that works. The way we oh, were. Oh yes, you probably can't play that. Yes, we. Oh you yeah, you're, play, you're right. Only thirty can't. seconds. Only thirty seconds. It have to be. We just can't say what it is. All right, no, and you, you, and you, 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 you know what? All right, Marty, shut up. Here's your new apology music. <laughs> and your apology All begins right. in now. <laughs> All right. Now. Wow, the guy's going to sit down oh, and play. Hold on. Almost. Really? This is so suspenseful. All right. Hold on. Hold on. George, Andrew, I, I just wanted to say that you joined a long list of people that I have offended by saying stupid things. I'm, I'm a stand-up comic. It's, it's what I do. I... I, I told a 17-year-old girl that she rubbed herself to thinking about some guy at a common club. I've, I've said so many right, wait, things stop, to so stop, many stop, people. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Whoa, 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 the hell was what do you that? Do? Wow, why do we need to know that? God, dude. dude. Jesus, that, the music was good. It was like a Zales commercial and all is, of a sudden. Is this an apology or a confession? <laughs> what? It sounds like a penthouse forum letter. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> He's just saying he offends I'm a lot of happy. people. <laughs> all right, just try it again. Try it again. You, you want to start I'll again? Apologize. All right, hold on. All right, let me rewind the music. All right, here Jesus. we go. Leave your take sex two. life out of it, bro. Jeez. Take two. Take, yeah, take two. Here we go. Marty's apology to Andrew Hall. From the top. Chris and Jordan, I would like to say that I'm sorry for going off topic. What the hell, Marty? No, you're topic. not apologizing to <laughs> us, you idiot. Idiot, we need to get Andrew's apology out of the way, and then you can apologize to us. God, start again. Yeah, we're going to pick a different song for us. Yeah, we got a different song to you. <laughs> it's a whole different song. And then you got to apologize to Tiffany for wasting her time. Nope, She's here kidding. not doing Jeez, anything. You got Euros. I want She's... to talk about Finland. Yeah. Come on, they're going to Damn it, there's stuff happening in the Netherlands. <laughs> Come on. All right, again. Andrew. You know, I know you've been through a lot in your life, and you've been hurt many times. But probably never as much as I hurt you with my harsh words. No, Marty! I, Marty, I he got run over by a what? car! You, you <laughs> didn't hurt him that much! God! <laughs> Nobody's ever hurt him as much as you. Please, dude! Yeah, right? God, show some perspective. <laughs> All right, I'm, again. I'm growing tired of this. Please! Andrew. I say this from the bottom of my heart. I, I never meant to offend you by what I said. I just was trying to get cheap laughs on a radio show. That's all it was. I, I want to be Marty, your friend. stop, stop. I want to Marty, be the person that you show your penis to. Why? What? What? what, what? <laughs> Don't just say radio show. Say double special show. For yeah, God's sake, help build the brand, dude. All right, and please let him go, for God's sake. Just right. cut him out. He's like four words. You're like, rah, rah, rah. All right, here we all go. All right, this is it. Jesus. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say I'm sorry. It feels like I've been apologizing forever. But if you can see it in your heart, just forgive me for my my boner that I said on the double special show last week or the week before or whenever. I I would greatly appreciate it. I know you're a special person and you will make it some somewhere in your life and you, I will probably be looking up to you. I mean, I haven't seen your movie yet, The Dolphins, yet, but I'm sure I will when it comes on uh, television, which will probably be in a week or two, because it wasn't a very good movie. But, uh, but I think I blew it again. I think I blew it again. Yeah. I, think, I, I don't know if I, you can. Look, the first part was very nice. I watched it on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing has gone right into the crapper. Uh, uh, all right, now that was. I think I don't know if that is that sufficient. Can we? Is if That's, we can we can edit that a little bit or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> It's too funny. Though. I thought it was nice. All right, it was nice. All right, we're good. Now, now right. our right. apology. Now All you right. need to apologize to us. Listen, Marty, we want you to be a regular yes. fixture on the show. Uh, we, now that we have the high speed internet, this whole thing is working. Uh, so I, I, you know, I want you to be with us for the long haul, but you gotta have respect for the people that are on the show, like Tiffany Barbie. You respect Tiffany, right? <laughs> of course, I respect Tiffany. <laughs> right. Wow, you said that like you have no respect for anybody else but Tiffany. All right, now I, you need to apologize. Well, no, to but us. Tiffany is an amazing person. I mean, <laughs> she's and she's worked with Polly Shore, and to put up with him for any length of time is an amazing skill. And I mean, I I met him for just a few minutes, 
you know, pretty oh. much at the end of his career a few weeks ago, and it was <laughs> painful. It was painful to even talk to him. Oh. Um, All right, stop. All right, stop. That was oh, that was nice, though. All right, we got I, our music. I respect Marty as well. Oh, my God. Don't do that. To okay. me. Don't do it. All right, Marty, now we want our apology. And you know what? Don't sell us short. Jordan, tell him. Don't, don't sell us short. Thanks. You sell us long. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Like Go on. six inches. Long time. All right, here we go. Jordan, Chris, I've known you for a long time. And I, I never meant to hurt you or your radio show. And I didn't want you to lose one eighth of your fan base by something stupid that I said. <laughs> I hope that you can see it in your tiny hearts, your cold, tiny hearts to to forgive me for what I have said about you in the past. Um, those things that you don't even know that I said about you. Like, Chris, when I said you were a total hack and had no original material. That's true, though. I, what, what? You I don't have to really apologize. That. And Jordan, when I said that your tiny penis self is just bitter towards comics because you can't be that funny. <laughs> I mean, you're funny in your own way, a weird kind of I read books, no one will get what I say way, but... That's true. That's I, true. You know, I, I can't argue with that. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't mean to hurt you with those words, all right? All right. And for all the times that I've warned your name out loud, um, you know, after I got off the radio saying they made me look like a douchebag on the air, I, I realized that part of that was my fault. Because I say really insensitive things about people that are have MS, or handicap, or, or female, or, <laughs> or, or balding, or, or Jesus looking. You know, I say a lot of hurtful things, and I, I don't know, I think it's just because I was hurt so much as a kid. You know, I was, I was bullied, I don't like to talk about it, but so, right, I was bullied I as a child. I don't know if I can take it anymore. Uh, there was a girl who knew karate, Where and she used to kick my butt are? daily. She, it looked a lot like Tiffany Barbie, actually. <laughs> I might have been her. Sorry, sorry. I mean, I'm much older than Tiffany Barbie, but I was an adult when when she was bullying me. All right, right the music. Six-year-old girl all right, that was just right, kicking right. my ass. That was like seven minutes long. Holy crap, Marty! Nobody's Dude. that sorry, you pussy. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> hey, oh, Jesus. why would you call him? Cause that's you can say that you can say yeah, that. Yeah, it's not right. a nice thing to say though. I don't care. It's like saying the n word. He's really. a poly- No, it is not. No, don't don't eat. Uh, really? Come on, seriously. Uh, it's just Are you that far gone? Cats consider it that way. Cats consider it the n word. Uh-huh. Yeah, for oh, cats. Cats are. You right. offended like it's like the n word for cats. <laughs> 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 Tiffany's on. She's got it. She's got it. That's our meow. <sighs> Listen, Marty called me in a panic on 4th of July. He was like, are you guys going to have a show? Is there going to be a show? I was like, no, dude, it's the 4th of July. How come you're not doing a show? I'm like, I'm not doing a show. What did you do for the 4th of July, Marty? What did you do? Uh, I went and did a show. You, oh, you actually worked that night? Oh, that's right. You went to the club. No fireworks? Yeah, yeah, did, yeah. you, did you do any fireworks with your son? Uh, s- screw him. I mean, he doesn't even really appreciate fireworks. Well, you know. The first time I took him, the first time I took him to. See fireworks! And Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Just what is- looked at us like we were crazy. Like, hey, there are explosions in the sky. You know, maybe you could get me away from here. What is happening at your house, what, dude? Aaron, what are you talking about? He's tattooing the children. I saw that there's a Swahili tribesman say? out there. What the was that? All right, okay, all right. Well, he's not mad at me. He's somebody's not mad at me. You're trying to tell me about this guy? Who's that guy? Uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. Okay, what are you going to tell me about him? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's still on. God, I He's wish there was a way we okay. could mute his Wolverine mic right now. still on. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't even have normal conversations with human beings anymore. No, you're my awful. Life. You're an awful person. I, <laughs> I, I know, I know. But anyway, I got to see some fireworks, though, from where the... Um, Oh, uh, the show was being held. I could see the fireworks off in the distance. I thought they, I thought they were. So. I didn't. I think I thought he was like. I got to see some fireworks. This one dude hit this chick right in the head. Bam! Fireworks. So I, I have an interesting question. <laughs> yes, Marty. Yeah. How many times have you seen Spider-Man so far? Spider-Man. Only once. What? 
He said that like, I, I'm okay. I'm doing all right. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Surprisingly, only once. Yeah, I'm, I'm at home now. I'm having eggs. I don't have a good. job, and my wife won't pay for my tickets, so I can only go once. <laughs> no, actually, uh, the lizard was a little scary for Marin. So I had, you know, what? offered to take him again, <clears throat> but the lizard was a little too scary for him. Listen, you. How old is your son? He is going to be four. So he's not even four Very yet. Good. That's dude. That's a rough movie to take a kid to. Yeah. Now, Tiffany, no, you saw the movie, no. right? He loves he loves Spider Man. He watches and most uh, yeah. things don't scare him. I know, dude, but Spider Man doesn't scare him. Listen Nothing to like me. Listen to me. Him, but... Cartoon Spider Man and live action three D in your face Spider Man with the Venom guy. Cha- you know, that's a little spooky, right, yeah. Tiffany? I mean, it's about spiders are scary in general. So add it to like. <laughs> other things. Tiffany <laughs> broke it right down to the arachnophobia thing. She was like, listen, spiders are creepy. Yeah, because right. yeah, Spider-Man looks exactly like a spider, Tiffany Barbie. Yes. You don't have Spider-Man to, you don't have to call her Tiffany Barbie. And big pictures on the front of his face and the got- eyes on his head and he crawls <laughs> around and, and then he sucks no, the blood out of people that he spends in a web. Right, but he didn't see it. But no, but, and but don't forget that he, he poops out shirt parts. <laughs> <laughs> like 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 unassembled shirts that he just poops right out. <laughs> Here's a sleeve for you. Bam, hundred percent silk. There you it's go. A shirt kit. Here you go. <laughs> no, but you have venom in that movie. Uh, uh, you know, look, Spider Man's not that scary, but Venom, dude, that's pretty damn scary yeah, for a four year old. The lizard was pretty scary. Exactly. I was I was a okay, little nervous. Okay, okay, okay. Even I'm Tiffany. Sorry. Was... He actually saw. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you, Tiffany. Uh, but uh, he, but I'm going to. Um, but he uh, totally. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm such a... Anyway, I Get don't... Get on with it. Yeah, so, <laughs> but, like, Venom, he's totally cool with Venom. Venom was fine. Lizard, scary. Oh, that's because Venom was the dude from that 70s show, right? He wasn't threatening at all. Until he turned into Venom, then it was pretty damn threatening, dude. Uh, he raked three claws across some, like, lockers. That's Whatever. Scary. That that movie, the villains, were the kid from that 70s show and the mechanic from Wings. That that movie was terrible. Tony, Tony <laughs> Shalhoub? No, he was a, Tony Shalhoub was a cab driver, wasn't he? Uh, I thought he was, like, the ticket agent or something. <laughs> no, nah, he was a cab driver. I don't know. Why no, you Tiffany's that? way too young. Do you know Wings? Have you ever heard of Wings? Of course. Tim Daly, oh. Steven Weber. Tony Shalhoub. Tony Shalhoub. Yeah. The only guy from that series that actually went on and did anything at oh, all. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Okay. Monk. Right, right. Monk, yeah. And then the other guy, the guy yeah, that played okay. Lowell, went yeah. on to do stuff. Oh, yeah. He did, Tom, yeah. Thomas Hayden Church or whatever. Right. Yeah, right, that's right. what I'm talking about. He played the, the Sandman. The I actually Sandman. know far too much about Wings. Yeah, <laughs> really? What the hell? Yeah, I'm, I stand corrected. Holy <laughs> shit. She was like, listen, I got a book right here. I'll show you. <laughs> You know. I used to think Tim Daly was hot. Used to? You don't anymore? He's like 90. Well, now he's like older. Oh, wow. She, she wow. doesn't like older, dude. Oh, that dish. hurt. Bam. Yeah, no, that's, but that's I mean painful. like. Yeah, yeah. I hate listen, to hear women say Tiff- that. Now Tiffany, he's older. Tiffany is now a tender. Old. Look at him. Just pathetic and old. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany is a tender twenty-two. What she no, has no I'm time. Twenty. Yes, I knew it was twenties. Uh, <laughs> she has no time for anybody so in the other old two decades. Now. Twenty-nine. Well, my, my ex-boyfriend was forty-nine. Yeah, but it was heat miser. That's it what I'm was. saying. Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do about that? Heat misers are hot. He did not represent. No, well, listen, he did not re- represent his time decade all that well. I have to say. Yeah. There are, I, you know, I don't, nothing against them. I, you know, but as he had the power of zombie Jesus behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Sobby, Jesus. All right, Marty. So now you're heading to the club. And Marty's a comic, too. Now, Marty, you're heading to the club tonight to do some more comedy? Uh, yes, yes. I am uh, heading to the club tonight to do some more. So uh, hopefully it'll... It's the summer here, so it's the slow period because there's not a lot of college students in town. The so. slow, right. the slow Ladies period. and gentlemen, tonight at Schlotsky's Deli in College <laughs> Station, Texas, get your fill of corned beef sandwiches and rehash comedy with Marty Hoffman. The rehash. <laughs> Okay. He'll be doing such <laughs> bits as singing the Totina's Pizza Box. <laughs> that's right. And that's about it. That's all you know, I actually, I actually had a person that said, I'm going to be going out of town in the next, like, three months. So before I go, you have to do the Totino song because you haven't done it in so long. You have to do that. Get a request so. for the Totinos. How does the song go? Yes. Can you do it? Do you have your guitar there? Uh, no, I don't have it with me. And actually, I've hurt my wrist, so I can't play it right now. You hurt your wrist? Yeah, I hurt my wrist working out. Have you learned? Have you wait, tuned wait, wait, your wait, back up, back up. Wait a second. Hurt your wrist working out? What were you doing? Uh, dips. 
Dips? Dips. <laughs> it's when you... Oh, Tiffany knows. Listen, she's Marshall. Go ahead. What is a dip? Well, I mean, we're on no, the radio. No, tell me. We can't really show it. You can tell no, but us. you can describe it. Comedy is about description. Describe what's happening. <laughs> well, it happened to him, not me. No, but you know what a dip is. Describe it's a not, dip. I mean, it's not like a push-up. It's like you're, but you're doing your arms. You're like, you know. Okay, doing like, your arms very vague. <laughs> like I'm going to say right now, doing your arms very I don't know arms, how very, to describe That could be flapping. Never mind. Let Marty describe no, it. That, no, wait, wait, no. wait. Is that one of those you're fat just, kid push-ups where you put your knees on the ground? No, no. Oh. No, those are push-ups. It's like, you know, you get your arms in a certain position and you got to dip your body and you use your arms to like. But are you suspending yourself above yeah, the floor? Yeah, yeah. Okay, see, so that's description. You're down on a prone position, or are you a... You're kind of like with, um, like you're, you know, you're just up. Okay, so you've got... I can't... I know, right. you know what, I know what it is. Marty, let's go back to you. What the hell is a dip? No, I know what it is. I'm going to tell you what a dip is. I don't know. I, picture, I, picture, picture the parallel bars. You're right. And okay, then, there like, you, you go. And you hold yourself up, and then you lower yourself yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you're holding yourself it's up. It's like eight I words. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting ready to go. Listen, you grab two handles and you're suspended yes. in there, and you do like okay. a yeah, like a. I was gonna like draw a diagram. Like I, everything I wanted to do was like physical and like showing the camera, but you can't do that. She's a like point. She wanted to do a demonstration. <laughs> Bam, point. So it's like just playing on a Star Wars. So walk. actually, the dip that she looked like she was doing were the seated dips, which yeah, I you still can do those do, too. But I don't try to. There's two uh, different kinds. Yeah, those kinds anymore. and then those kinds. I usually do them every day. No, we'll just let you gym rats talk for a second. Anyway, you guys whatever. Go ahead and roll okay. it out. No, it's all good. She's uh, awkward. <laughs> it got awkward. Awkward again, you saw that? I know. Yeah, and really this whole time, Chris was just trying to work his way up to a masturbation joke, and it all just went right <laughs> off the rails. He's like, How did you hurt your wrist, Marty? How did you hurt your wrist? Not at all. Oh, I got one good for this. I got a good one. I got a good one. How did you hurt your wrist? <laughs> uh, and, it, so and it, we lost it. We, 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 we found out what a dip was instead. Uh, all right. So, so, I thought of a masturbation joke too when she said, Work in your arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you hurt your wrist, and I'm sorry about that. So, I mean, yeah, it's, everything's going to be fine. Now, what do you got prepared? Yeah, well, can you say it to music? Can we do what to music? What, you want to say that want... you're sorry about me hurting my wrist to music? Oh, my God. Oh, really? What? I, I'm yeah. Just, I wish you know, I could I've find... had to apologize a whole lot this show. Maybe it's your turn to apologize to me, you know? For I'm what? trying to get in the gym and stay healthy, and I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to improve myself. And all you can talk about is the fact that, oh, yeah, you're a gym rat. Whatever. You know, I'm trying to make myself healthier. Shit, he you got, know? Oh, he's, he's trying to oh, no. get Jesus. fit to look good on your radio show. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> he's trying to get fit because he's in Texas. Right, no, There's nothing will, else to do in Texas. I, I will take this But get challenge. fit. It's sort of like prison. You you know, you either exist or you work out and you exist in a you know with a good physique. They like to eat in Texas. All right. I, and you apologize to Marty now? Yeah. All for right. what? For making fun of you do it working out? No, you have to be sorry right. that he hurt his wrist. All right, I'll be sorry that he hurt his wrist. All right, we here, we music? All right here, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> the karaoke. Listen, Marty, you hurt your wrist. I know that's true. I know you hurt it. It's all good. What, what is it? I can't do this music. What is this? We don't. I like a girl with caked up makeup <laughs> Into sunshine smoking cigarettes oh to pass the time Wait, 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 no. Come on, come on. No, but I think Jordan is super funky. Well, look, first of all, I can't, I can't I rap to a song that has the rap lyrics in it. You, you play instrumentals for Marty, but you give me a song with lyrics through it. I don't know what the hell you're trying to do to me, but that does not help me. I can't do that. All right. It's like, I don't, like, 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 yeah. I don't even know. I've never even heard that song. You can rhyme. No, now it's like, now you're giving a Katy Perry song. It's got music. You can rhyme wrist with fist. If you want me, okay. Riz, that's got it's lyrics too, dude. Would you stop? Uh, Listen, DJ Skrillex, you okay. want to play an instrumental something? All right, all right. All right. <sighs> Listen, you know I can't rap, dude. I can't sing. I can't rap. I can dance. I can't rap. I can't sing. You're the rapper. It's all about the rhymes. No, I think, do you know how to rap? You ever tried rapping ever? No. No, never. Not even with your girlfriends. You're hanging out. It's like a pajama party. You're like, let's put on an instrumental yeah, rap beat. Like, yeah. Shh. Some of these beatboxing. Yes, exactly. Usually yeah. the hot Asian chick is like doing the beatbox. Boom. No. What? Are you saying you never rap at the Unitarian pajama parties that Chris <laughs> imagines you having? We just have pillow fights. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's okay. I'm going to get with that. I'm good with that. Tell us more about the pillow fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not going to apologize to you, Marty. That's, that's, that's fancy. What? 
Oh, how difficult would that be? All right, all right, all right, all right. Shut up. I'll apologize. Hey, I'm sorry you were working out and then it took a bad twist. All of a sudden, you hurt your wrist. You fell down and squealed like a girl. Then you all rolled up in a ball as you, before you could curl. Yeah, well, you know, something like that. I it mean, sounds it's like hard, it's pretty it's hard. hard. Yeah, no kidding. It sounds like it was really difficult to rap about your wrist. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's why I denied you the rap. All right, Marty. <laughs> All right, well, Marty, listen, anything else you want to talk about before? I, I was going to get into the 4th of July stuff, but I want to talk about the pillow fight. The pillow? Oh, yeah, well, that's mm, probably sorry. not going to happen. Yeah, no. <laughs> Tiffany will apologize for not telling you about the pillow fight now. Here we go. Here's Tiffany's apology music. Marty. What's happened? I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you more about my pillow fight. <laughs> 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 what happened, dude? Change to a video game. Nice. All right. It's video game music. Turn that crap off. Holy uh, crap, dude. All right, Marty. I want to talk because I, I, you know, I, I uh, for the 4th of July, I actually did fireworks with my son for the first time. Now, Tiffany, you don't have kids, right? No kids? No, good. Yeah, you, no. Why? Well, it's not bad. You, you're with kids all the time. You don't like I them? I am with kids all the time. If, for those of you who don't know, Tiffany Barbie uh, is a martial arts uh, instructor, right? You teach yes. martial arts. Uh, taekwondo? Taekwondo, kickboxing, a little bit of this and that. Okay. And now, do you teach mostly kids or adults? or? I teach both. You teach um, both. Yeah, I mean, I teach ages like three and up. Okay. Do you like kids or? <laughs> I, uh, kids, I know, right? No, no. Kids really, really like me. And I'm very good with kids, but yeah. I, I wouldn't say I want to hang out with them like a lot. Well, no, nobody wants, you can't go to a bar with a kid. You know, I'm very, like, I'd be a, you know, I'm very good with kids. I, that's yeah. all I can say. But yeah, I mean, I No, you're older. I get it. No, be because them. you got euros and they're not down with the euro. Do thing. you like to lie to them? Because that is totally fun <laughs> to lie to kids. <laughs> I like the, yeah, I mean, I have fun talking to them. I exaggerate stuff. Exactly, yeah. No, but uh, listen, I have a four-year-old, and uh, and it was 4th of July, so I decided to go and get some fireworks. And I'm not gonna, I'm not a fireworks guy. I don't, like, I, never in my life did I go, like, we're going to get some canisters and you're going to shoot off and it's going to, I don't know about you, Jordan. You don't seem like an explosion sort of fellow. I, I don't like too loud noises. Yeah. No, exactly. You can't even handle my kid screaming. Tiffany, Nobody you, can handle your kid did, screaming. <laughs> your kid is a drill press in human form. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you do fireworks when you were younger or no? I mean, yeah, I think I did sparklers. Sparklers, and all that stuff. yeah. That's not really fireworks, though. You I always do... watch fireworks. Okay, but the big ones, but not in, like in front of your house, because Probably. here in Florida, dude, it's like that's like a rite of passage here. They got the you can go buy the canisters. It's like a hundred bucks, and they mm -hmm. actually shoot. Yeah, and people. Yeah, are doing we did it. that. I mean, we did. I okay. never lit it myself. I well, no, and I never. I didn't. <laughs> I'm not really into it. But I figured, you know, I'll share this with my kid, and I'll go. Now, Marty, you didn't get any fireworks at all for your for Aaron, right? Uh, from, no, Marin didn't Marin. get any, any, yeah. any fireworks. It's, uh, okay. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? Lighting it? Like, no. I'd be afraid. Well, and here's the thing, though, but he's four. So the attention span there on a four year old, <laughs> not really. Like, I, I, lit, I led up to the fact that we were going to do fireworks and it was going to get dark soon. And I, my mistake, I did it like five o'clock. It doesn't get dark until like nine. So for four hours, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> right. <laughs> Is it dark? Is it dark? No, it's not dark. Dark is coming. When it gets dark, we need to do fireworks. Yes, we're going to do fireworks when it gets dark. And I just at this point, I'm like, I just want him to go to sleep, but I can't now. I've promised. Right, right. Now, and we live in Florida, and all over the country, but uh, especially, but in Florida, we got a heat wave going on, so it's as balls hot outside. It is. It's humid. It's nasty. Gross. Now we go outside at like 9:30. He's jacked up on whatever he's jacked up on because we've tried to keep him up. He's very excited at first. I do a couple of fireworks. He's like, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I get him to hold a, a sparkler. It takes like 15 minutes to get him to actually hold it because, you know, there's molten steel coming off the, off the end of it. Uh, and then he could care less. So now <laughs> I'm out there with – I don't have a lot of interest in this, but I'm like, hey, Jake – Look at this firework. And he's like, yeah, that's nice. And he's running around the yard in circles. So it was just like a grim death march of you, like, just sitting there lighting firework after firework. I paid for these. I will get the use out of them. I know. It's 55 bucks we had. Look, listen, going, uh, going to get the fireworks was fun because he was excited. Yeah. We're buying stuff. It's in packages. There's tanks. But then after 10 minutes of lighting, he's like, yeah, well, Once he nice. realized what it was, he's like, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I've not really my one. thing. Yeah. You get to a point, it's like, hey, Jay. We're halfway through the, the Bush Gardens <laughs> ticket. You're not getting this year, you little <laughs> punk. What do you think of that? Well, now you know for next year. I mean, some no, kids like it, some kids don't. I, I think yeah, that right? parents, I think as parents, we kind of push our kids in these situations. Marty, how about your your child? Do you buy him toys that are like four and five years ahead of where he's supposed to be at? They actually say for eight as well, because my wife is buying like these kits with like 90 pieces of uh, th things that you put together, and he's four. He doesn't, once it smashes apart, guess whose job it is to put it back together? It's my job. 
And you're not very good yeah, at it. Yeah, it's my job, too. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that we do like that is uh, Transformers. Like, he likes to buy the Transformers, and there are some that are just too complex for him to do. And so, you know, it's always, Daddy, transform this. And I transform it. He's like, okay, now make it a robot again. Oh, oh, oh all right, all right. <laughs> now, now transform it back into, now back into a car. And, like, it takes, like, 40 minutes each transformation, you know, because they're, like, complex things. Oh, Marty. Just, oh. Marty, I'm so sorry I accused you of being lazy layabout, not not having a job. I, I, can, I can see you you, bet, you spent over 18 minutes a day transforming a plastic robot for your son. What, what, what a terrible labor. <laughs> yeah, George. I, I, I really want to hear you tell me about how lazy I am. Taking Why care. You, uh, just... Yeah, no, Jordan. Taking care of kids is hard. Like, uh, yeah, um, like Jordan, Marty... does Jordan have kids? No. <laughs> well. no. Yeah, so Jordan and I are like, no, we don't have kids. No. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. You're around kids. Jordan even want to yeah. get around kids. I mean, he doesn't even want to be around I them. I love my martial arts students, and I right. love, and I, you know, I really enjoy them for the time that I'm with them. You yeah. Know what I mean, and I, and my friends' kids are cool and stuff. Yeah. But, no, yeah. Jordan, when he comes to my house, if my kid like interacts with me, he's like, eh. Uh-huh. That's not true. Yeah. I just don't like it when he does the little drill press screaming. <laughs> but it's definitely hard work. I mean, my friend has like a three-year-old and a baby, and she got, I've never been pooped on or thrown up on my life, and within 10 minutes, she got pooped on, she got thrown up on, and what everything. What, that gross? And I'm I like, know. This is what you do if you have kids. That's it's what like it's like. Can you no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Self-control these little monsters. Okay, these are opinions what? coming from people without kids. I have not been pooped on or puked on. <laughs> well, right. but that's a mom What the thing. hell are you feeding your kid? I think I think it's a mom thing. I mean, also her older one like peed its pants too. So like all of these bodily functions happen within like a half an hour. Uh, Marty, yeah. has that ever? Have you ever been pooped or puked on? Well, puked on. I'm uh, sure. uh, I have not been pooped on. I've had to clean up poop down the hallway <laughs> um, as he was trying to get to the bathroom and stripping, and you know just. Pooped all the way down the hallway. Oh, um, this is I, the grossest uh, stuff. Also, awful. I, I, I might have told you this, I might not have. Um, I can't take a bath without him wanting to hop in the bathtub with me. Oh. But one time he came up to the bathtub. Wait, 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 back up, back up. Wait a second, wait a back up. You're how old are you, Marty? <laughs> I am forty-two. Why are you still taking baths? <laughs> because they feel wonderful and I have kids all day long. So it's like a Calgon his... moment. What are you doing? What are you doing? Calgon bath? He wants his moment in the <laughs> bath alone. You light some candles, get a little dark chocolate is, going. What are you? He is like a stay at home mom. Like I know. He's a stay at home dad. I'm like, sure. like a stay at home mom. I really. The other day I watched Sex in the City <laughs> and then stayed on for Bun Head. Bun Head. I watched. Fun head. You watch what was it called? I enjoyed it. I don't know what the I hell he's talking about. I cried a little either. bit when Miranda and Steve got back together. Okay, <laughs> I. <sighs> <laughs> he, he actually has like uh, like women's hormones. Going look, on. I <laughs> look. I have not made it past the image of Marty in a bathtub. If you've not met Marty, he's like eleven foot tall, Ichabod yeah. Crane looking dude. I can't with his big poppy legs, yeah, knobby he looks knees, like, like a, a plucked rooster, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that in a tub. I hope you have a big spa tub, dude. <laughs> The best description of me ever was uh, Steve Laszlo, who described me as a baby turkey vulture. <laughs> <That was. laughs> he even made the uh, he even made the uh, image of uh, like giving food out of you know with a baby or whatever. All right, anyway, what the hell is that? There, look, 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 Norman Morris has gone crazy over there. They're going no, crazy. But yeah. So anyway, but he walks up. He walks up to the bathtub, and he just stands there and pees right into the bathtub Ooh. as I am in it. Oh. You know uh, what? You know what would it. stop that? If you were in the shower, <laughs> if you took a shower, wouldn't matter, dude. <laughs> like an adult, yeah. But you're in a yeah, bath, and I would be the one peeing in the shower. Yeah. You're right. That's okay though. It's okay to pee in the shower. Tiffany, you pee in the shower, right? No, I'm a Never. girl. All right, girls don't sure. do it. Girls yeah. don't do it. No, they don't oh, fart either. Because then it ever. goes down your leg and stuff. It would be gross. You're in the you know, shower. I never thought of it. You're right. No, that's right. Uh, you're yeah, in a shower. But still, How long who would wants it pee to go against your leg? Not me. I'm with Tiffany. Because I just, I just. Wash my leg. That if you have a, I'm in the shower. If you have a, I have soap right next to me and a loofah. <laughs> can you just like spread no, your legs a little bit? Can I just... just sit on the toilet before I get in the shower? Yeah, you, you could. <laughs> yeah, you could. I think men are generally you lazy. You can, but once you're an old man, well, you won't be an old man, but when you're old <laughs> men like 
Chris and I, you know. Oh, wait, 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 Chris and I. much longer than your bladder. If I were a man, I would pee in the shower, I'm You sure. would, exactly. Yeah, because you got, like, the whole, okay. like, you know. All right, so that's fair. Thing. No, it's not that she It's not that she thinks it's disgusting. It's that she doesn't have the equipment, really, to make it. Exactly. Well, no, right. she doesn't have the equipment to make it not disgusting. Exactly. Exactly. That's you know, all. Still Can't disgusting. you just hike your leg? No. Nah. I know. That's what that I That sounds harder than sitting like on the toilet. Like a poodle? Can't you just aim it a little? How awkward no, would that? What did, you know, let me let me ask you this question, Marty. Uh, what if you had to hike your leg? Would you do it then? Wouldn't you feel weird doing that? Putting your leg up I on the soap thing? I, I can wait a couple no, hours no, to go pee. No, no, I'm a guy. And we have okay. no pride. What? He has no pride. He's a guy. No, he, no, he doesn't have any That's pride. What he said. No, but it goes far beyond just the shower. Trust me. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you get the urge to pee in the shower. It's no. just there's, there's like the whole. It's there's, everything's reminding you of peeing while you're in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I've, I don't feel that. I'm good. All right. So you know what this. You know what this reminds me. of? was like talking about fetishes, and I wanted to bring this up oh, early, no. later. No, oh, and no. we're not going to get dirty. But oh. you creepy old bastard. No, I know, right? Oh, it's, right. it's in oh. my goddamn book. I'm telling you right now. It's right here, man. Speaking the, of peeing in the shower, right, right. Me. Let's move right along on double special. If you want to give us a call on the on the air, seven two seven four nine three two zero five five. On the phone, we have Marty Hoffman. In the studio, we have Tiffany Barbie. Uh, having a great time tonight. Good show. It's moving along quite nicely. I might, mm-hmm. I, yeah, it's nice. Uh, not as good as No Remorse, though. Not as good as No Remorse. Look no, at them rocking. Yeah, out. they got a posse. Look, he's all pissed. He's got his headphones What's on. Going it's on a gold. I don't know. He's doing baseball. They're all scene. rapping. Yeah, and stuff. I don't know. They're, yeah, they got the whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. It's like an Arsenio revival. Uh, strange fetishes. I read a story uh, early, or earlier this week that uh, the fetish that's uh, popular now is this. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Is it called crushing? That's what you called it. I think it's called crushing, where heavy, very heavy women. Sit on guys that, and there's no, yeah. and there's no intercourse. They're just sitting on them, and I don't know if like it's on, on the, their face. I, I'm not sure. I think just any general body part. And I thought that's kind of that's kind of weird, but I don't know. I've heard weirder, and I don't want to get sick and dirty. But yeah, you do. No, I don't, Marty. Why would you bring it up? Because I want to see what Mark. I want to see everybody. Down. No, I want to see the levels of fetish where we. Not that we've ever experienced them, but we've heard about them. Marty, what's the weirdest fetish you think you've ever heard? Uh, a sexual fetish. Without, I don't want to. Uh, don't get graphic and dirty, but just tell me. You still there? He's thinking. What the hell? Did they hang up? Did did, did freaking no remorse hang up on my caller, dude? Seriously. Oh yeah, they did. They had a party. Holy crap! I think you they want me to go beat up. them up. Yeah, dude. No, I, don't, <laughs> I, I have. I you know no. I have to pee, and I'd like to do a bath pee on them right now. Holy crap! I think with the whole yep yep, did they freaking well, hung up on our call? Well, maybe he'll call back. All right, Marty. Well, okay. Well, uh, Marty's All off right. the line. So well, Jordan, well, okay. I know you'll go crazy. I'm curious, no, Tiffany. No. What weird sexual fetish that you've heard about? Not that you've done, or is Marty back um, on the line? All right. Yep. Marty, you there? This is Marty. That's not Marty. Who is this? That's not Marty. Who is this? The missus. This is Marty. I want to talk about Spider-Man. All right. First of all, idiot, turn down the radio that you have in the background so we don't have the thing, all right? And then we'll discuss why you want to talk about it and who the hell you are. Go ahead and turn turn your computer down or your I'll, radio. How come every time you call up the radio show, they always yell at you to tell you to turn the radio down? Because the, everybody the always leaves the radio on. Right no, yeah. you always leave the radio you on. You can hear the radio in the background as well. Yeah. And, and it's distracting. It's a bit of a delay. Uh, yep. Tiffany yeah, knows. I understand. Oh, what, do you so got? what about Spider-Man? Who do we got on the line, first of all? This is uh, Cornelius. All right, Cornelius. What about Spider-Man? You're asking us what we think you, about Spider-Man, the movie, the, the, movie? the, the character, Have the you comic seen fetish? It? The fetish? Well, the, the, new, the newest film that's out now. What do you it's think? Called, Has anyone seen this? I have. All right. I Tiff- saw it the other day. Yeah, Tiffany Barbie's in the studio. She's seen the movie. No yeah. spoiler. What did you think? You are you a big? Did you see I, the other? I was, did you see the other films? First of all, I did. Okay, the so Tobey Maguire thing. All right, how do they compare? What do you um, think? Um, it was way better. I didn't want to go see it. My friend actually made me go because I'm like, how much more can I learn about Spider Man? You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like how much more can I learn? But like actually, I went and I was like, okay, it was actually really good. Like I was, and I was so skeptical against seeing it. Like I did not want to see it at all. All right, so, Corne- so I liked it. Cornelius, I'm assuming that you saw the film. What it was did you, amazing. What did you think of the film, okay. Cornelius? They they just they did not manage to pull it off. I, you don't I don't think know. so. Well, wait, 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 back up. I was saying that it was going to be darker and more like the original, well, you know, the comic and. I don't know. I, I, I just think the Spider-Man movies just not working out. Dark and, like you the know, comic. I don't think many of them are, but how is it? How is the comic ever dark? It, it was about a little little high school boy falling in love with girls and getting <laughs> getting sperm coming exactly. out of his wrist or something. That was all it was. 
no one can relate to that anymore. We need someone that, you know, like tell Spider-Man, you know, change change it up a little bit. Change the character up a little bit. Make, what make what him become somebody but you can't who's change. like, I don't know, you know. I, it, make it apply to our times, I guess. What? No one falls in love. Cornelius, like I, I, listen, I don't know if I'm following you. When you say make it current with our times, what do you what do you mean? Like current to the... The the, the 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 recent election that's coming yeah, up, or really. terrorism, or what does that, that even mean? Does he I don't get know what bitten that... by a methamphetamine spider. Yeah, what What's the hell? Is, I don't exactly, know what you're saying. Exactly, you know, a drug addict who's a recovering drug addict. I would love to see Cornelius <laughs> pitching this movie idea in Hollywood. Listen, love the Spider-Man concept. It's really awesome. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, there, no. There's Peter, a spider Peter. in the Oxycontin pill, just <laughs> hiding in there. <laughs> the guy takes the Oxycontin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, yeah. but he's not taking the Oxycontin. Uh, he's way beyond that. He's shooting Oxycontin. Now <laughs> we've got microscopic Oxycontin spiders <laughs> in the veins. How does that affect the Spider Man? Does it give him superpowers? No. He hangs out at Walmart. Well, what, he what, could what? be smoking synthetic marijuana or taking bath salts and it can turn him into a complete psychotic, you know, zombie. <laughs> it's, he's Spider Man, but his only weakness is when it rains, he bubbles up. <laughs> Bazaars, <laughs> basalts. He got, he got his powers from radioactive yeah. basalts. Jeez, Cornelius. Well, all right, let me ask you this, Cornelius. What did you think of the other superhero movies? The Avengers was just out recently. Terrible. Did you, did you see the? That wasn't so bad. Okay, so you. Done. They, they, they toned it down with that. I mean, mean they, toned they it down. On the strengths of all the superhero <laughs> films, um, and they just didn't go overboard with it. Everybody sort of had their piece in that film, and the, and, and there was a story that you know. You you are correct. They all had that. their teeth. JB, you want to comment on that? That movie was terrible. You, so JB didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? it? It's just, it's another, it's like a battle of the network stars is all it was. It was just terrible. Come on. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. No. Well, it was, it was kind of like battle of the network yeah. stars. Hell yeah, it was. About it. It was that, that's what the comic, that's what the comic was like. Yeah, for celebrity, the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so Circus of the stars. That's what it was. <laughs> it's a comic book. What was your... What's been your favorite comic book superhero movie of the past, say, 10 years, Cornelius? My favorite superhero comic book of the last how many years? No, movie, not comic book of the last, let's well, say, yeah, 10 years. Movie. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, well, uh, let's see. I would have to say it's a cross between The Punisher 2 <laughs> Punisher. and uh, The Greatest American Hero. <laughs> The yeah, all right. Did they remake the greatest, Amer greatest American American? No, they era? did not. No, He's they talking the original. Yeah, they did. What they did? Wait, when? Well, they didn't remake it, but it been, there was a comic book out years ago that I think. No, I'm talking know, about actual. Started. I'm talking about actual yeah. movies. You're movies. Talking, you believe it or not, I'm actual flying movies. on air. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what he's talking about. Never thought I could be so free. He <laughs> he. <laughs> Flying away on a wing in a prayer. <laughs> Who could it be? <laughs> Believe it or not, it's just me. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Cornelius? Yeah, I, I don't um, know. Yeah, like I said, they really, when it comes down to it, you know, there hasn't been any great superhero movie. All right, so let's... let's yeah, maybe, listen. maybe Batman, but that's still... You know, All right, well, listen, you're, you seem to be cool. into superheroes. You seem to be knowledgeable about what you want in a film. What, what do you want to see in a superhero film come out in the next, say couple of years what do you want to see what's one that they haven't done that maybe they can do that you're in? what about the wonder woman thing They're, they've been waffling on the wonder well, woman popeye yeah popeye yeah. what they should do is really just instead of making all these superhero movies remember the secret wars comic book no jordan you know that you secret wars? remember that and you're talking about superheroes I, we can talk about superheroes i know superheroes without knowing about like secret a, wars like damn it. the marvel version of battle yeah. of the network so, stars or okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then, you know, let's put it this way. Hancock, hands down, okay. was the best superhero film ever made because it never existed in the comic book. And, you know, you get this black guy with superhuman strength. Really? He was immortal. So the best superhero? He was superhero? an alcoholic man with superpowers. Did <laughs> 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 you hear that? You know what I mean? Dude, Cornelius is a villain. Did you hear that laugh? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> The superhero's an alcoholic. <laughs> he was addicted to JB Turkey. <laughs> he likes his superheroes what about, to have what like, about drug young brother, The comic book Young Brother. JB, you know that? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. I know. This guy's deep, deep into the comic books. The, the, the last comic book I read was Gru the Wanderer, sir. Yes, do you know that? Gru the Wanderer? Now, there you go. That would be a good film. It Danny would? Danny DeVito. Why? Danny DeVito? I... What? Yeah, what about Jughead? Remember the Gru the Wanderer? Oh. 
Yeah, I tried to make a Jughead hat. <laughs> no, he's talking about they're, right. they, they're past hey, wait, wait, You guys have put you get commercials on their website. Why am I watching Regis and Kelly right now? Uh, because they're popular in pop culture. Regis doesn't do stuff. Anymore. No, every now and again, because you don't have ad block up on your uh, internet, it'll give you an ad. No, I don't. It, now, if you hooked All up right. with Grew the Wanderer guy over here, he'd show you how to ad block that Grew so that way. everything freezes up when there's supposed to be an ad. I, yeah, I'll tell it you. only took me like 12 years to think you <laughs> Yeah, no, but no, I don't get ads, but everything freezes where there should be an ad, so it's kind of messed up. I I, I, I I think I'd rather watch the ad than have frozen screen for, you know, for the ad time. What do you guys? What do you guys got in those cups? What are you drinking? <laughs> uh-huh. Tiffany, I, I had coffee. Yeah, I, I actually had coffee. It's so empty that There's I couldn't get in that cup. Uh, in this cup, I have what is, what's props. in here? Your props. No, this is they're I, empty. No, this is mine's empty. empty. Now. It's empty now. We've been here for an hour. Yeah, yeah no, it's empty now, dude. We're almost ready to get out of here. Uh, Look, I have ice in there. There was some libations in there. Yeah, Cornelius. I mean, if you want to institute beverage service here at the Double Special <laughs> Show, we'd be happy to have that. It'd be awesome. I'll, but... Yeah, I'll set up, I'll set up a bar right next to uh, a girl in green right there. Ladies and gentlemen, coming next week, the Double Special Show, the Cornelius Bar and Grill, right in the hall. Yay! <laughs> yeah. He's gonna come in here with a green egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corny. All right, Corny. Uh, listen, have you listened to our show before? Are you uh, or is this the first time for you? Oh, all the time, all the time. You like it? Is it good? <laughs> um, yeah, it has its, oh, it wow. has its moments. Oh, wow. It has you know its moments. It's, it's, is it bad? No, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. There's much worse <laughs> out there, isn't there, Cornelius? Oh yeah. No, I mean, like I could, if you want, if you know, I could just. I can totally start like saying, "Oh, this would be cool if you did this." He, he wishes we were meth addicts. Yeah, no. What, what, what would be cool? <laughs> no, I'm interested to yeah, hear. Seriously, yeah, well, would think, be cool? I think you guys should have more guests in the area. Um, you know, like Tiffany Tampa, Barbie, you know, comedians, and more comedians are uh, calling in. Like by phone. I mean, why, why the hell should all these people that no one's ever heard about call in? You guys should get a comedian to call in. Yeah, we and, don't. You know, like who? You're a comedian, so why don't yeah. you, you know you know them? You know? Look, I can't listen. Comics are the hardest people to pin <laughs> I down. I know. The last time we had a comedian no, no, call no, in, I, I, would... who do you need? Who do you want on the phone? He wants Rob Schneider. I'll get them for you. Wait, who? Well, <laughs> first of all, are we sure? First of all, no. Listen, I can get, but we can get Paulie Shore on the air. I, no, not we that can't. I don't. Yeah, okay. no. I, yeah, listen, I, I know some people that can probably. Ladies call. and gentlemen, next week, Chris Gorgeous will have Paulie Shore <laughs> on the air. <laughs> right. Yeah, just yeah, no, I'm really? saying we could have him. I don't think he would do it because Paulie's that way. Where Corny, oh, uh, oh. stop, stop. Cornelius, Paulie where Shore would do it. Where are you? Where are you located? At? Are you? Uh, are you living in L.A.? Are you living in Florida? Where are you at? I I live in Boston, but right now I'm in Florida. Okay, so you're a Boston a transplant, as as I am from Worcester, Massachusetts. What do you wait? What what are you writing down? Uh, uh, I'm writing notes on you right now, dude. I'm going to call up some people okay. and have you investigated there, Cornelius. So who can uh, you get? Who can you get from Boston or anywhere for that matter? Are you a comedian? Or are you just a regular person? What oh yeah, doing? yeah, writer too. You're a writer too. Cool. Yep. What do you write? Who do I write? No, what do you write? Um, I mean, I interview tons of people, comedians, um, you know, musicians, anyone, anyone okay. I'm interested in. I try to get in touch with them. I write about them and I, and I publish it. Right. No, I think I know who you are. I think this is Mark T's brother calling in from Boston or used to live in Boston. No, no, you know, Mark T. Who? Nah, not him. Sorry. Wow. Oh. Way off on that one. No, we, wait, wait, wait. Who? Mark T. is a guy from Boston. When we had our AM show, his brother actually interviews a lot of punk bands and everything else up in Boston. Uh, what's I, yeah. What's that? No, I mean, yeah. The, the, uh, what's his name? His name is Mark T. I don't mm-hmm. want to give his last name on the air. Who the I don't know who the hell you're is. Well, we call him Brockton. <laughs> <laughs> we call him Brockton. Brockton. Yeah. Well, tell him the book for our show then. Yeah, Get Cornelius no. to work. Listen, Cornelius, are you <laughs> yeah. are you on the web? Do you have a, a podcast? Do you have a website that you want to throw out there right now? Have people I listen to just, stuff? I I just followed you on Twitter. If I just followed Double Special on Twitter, okay. so right on. You, you'll see who it is. Okay. You may you, you may be on to something. You may not be, but no. Yeah, get listen. In touch. Um, anything, like, I like to talk to people, and listen, we are local, but a lot of these comics around here, I don't know, like Jordan said, last time we had a comic who we've known for years on the air, mm-hmm. it, we get a little rough with them, a little rough and tumble, uh, it's not like a friendly, we're not like kissing ass when we interview people, we want to know, we want to get them kind of rolling, and he he couldn't do it. He couldn't. Right, right. Yeah. No, you don't want to, you don't want to kiss anyone's ass. No, I do you? No, I mean, no. well, but I mean, you're listen. You're, Some people's asses. No, listen. I think this guy. I, I'm I, just saying, there's asses that I like. You gotta like, go. Do you gotta call yeah. or something? That you gotta take. 
What's that? No, not at all. I'm here for. I just have to pee all like right, a racehorse. He was showing you the iPhone. So yeah. oh no, it's it's an it's a Samsung <laughs> admirer. It's a Samsung admirer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an iPhone, sir. No, it's who's 80 the <laughs> who's the biggest person that you interviewed? Because listen, we've been trying to get Tom Hanks on the show. Uh, call up a. Sp <laughs> I'm not kidding. We yeah. we wanted to get who's Tom the Hanks. Biggest person I interviewed. Yeah, yeah. And not not in, in physical um, stature. Like in, like in terms of size. No, no, not in physical stature. In terms <laughs> of popularity. <laughs> We'll find out. Yeah, we will. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel comfortable answering that question. Why? Why not? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm a little more modest than I thought. But like, all right, what 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 genre? Like, you know, comedian, like writer. Yeah, comedian. I mean, what do you, sure, do you, comedian. Any, we'll we'll I, go. With I can't really pick them all out. You know. You can't say one person that's been on your show. I'm just curious. I'm not. Look, I don't want to make fun of you or degrade just, you. I just want. I'm just curious. Who yeah. have you had on the show? Just throw out a couple names. A couple of names. It's a, you don't even have to like mm -hmm. them necessarily. Right. Okay. Larry. Larry King. Cool. Larry King. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. Not not really much uh, of a comedian, but <laughs> he, he does some funny stuff. He's just kind of funny. I disagree. I disagree. He's it's, was he to quote him. He's intrinsically funny. So how do you how do you get a guy like Larry King on the phone? Because I'm sure his people get lots of calls. Listen, when I interview. How long did it take you to get him on the air? Was it uh, like a one phone call? He's well, I didn't in? get him on the air. I, I, I interviewed for uh, print. Oh, okay. All right. But getting getting on the air would be nice, you know, but I'm not much of a radio person in terms of talking. I, I'd probably get bored after 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, it's not as easy as you think, is it? Two hours no, to fill up. No, it's not. I mean, you need to keep it, you know, people's attention, you know. Which, 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 which. Um, but which? no, Larry King, uh, who else have I interviewed? Um. Robbie Krieger, The Doors. Oh, nice. Um, now, see, that and, that would be an interesting uh, interview. Just recently, um, I'm going to be interviewing the guy from the, the Weather Channel next week. What guy Jim from the Cantor, Weather Channel? You know, the bald dude? No, I never watched the Weather Channel. JB, do you watch the yeah. Weather Channel? I don't have TV. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> you guys never have seen the Weather Channel. Uh, who watches you the Weather Channel? Crap. It's there. Cornelius. Yeah, it's something that's on. Like, I've never actually all remembered right. watching okay, it. Okay, well, all right. Uh, <laughs> listen, Cornelius is dead. That's cool, though. That's cool. Do you watch it's, it? It's a long list. There's no sense of going into it. it. I mean, you know. No, there's no I'll sense. I'll call some other time and tell you another oh, person. Oh, hey, to. dude, don't don't get all offended. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that, that's not cool. You, you guys can tweet about it together now that all you're right, Twitter well, listen, friends. Cornelius, I, I'm going to try to get some more guests. We got some guys coming in the next couple of weeks that I, you might like. I think they're local guys. and. Uh, l listen, we're in the area where I, I, I when we I didn't say I didn't enjoy the show. Well, no, and I appreciate that. But when we started the show, there's a lot. There's a couple other shows like the Dave Frank show, Love His Show. He interviews some pretty yeah. big names. He's had uh, Martin Short. Martin Short's been on the oh, show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He had. Uh, I I was on the show when Bobby Slayton was on the show. I don't know if you know Bobby Slayton, a pretty big uh, comedy. Right, right. Yeah. So he gets the big names, and we were like, I, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, I just yeah. want to have. No I just want to have regular funny. Like I think Marty is very funny. He's not famous. He's never going to be famous. He's an excellent stand-up, and he's a you know he's in Texas, and that's where he's stuck, and that's the you know and there's a lot of people like that out there. Mm -hmm. So you don't you're not you don't want to talk. It's, I mean it's not you, you don't want no, to talk I would, to people that are famous. I would I would I would yeah, love I, I would talk to people that are famous it's if they call the, the show every, right. But I, right. I I you know even with the Tom Cruise tell, thing, yeah that, did we tell our Tom Cruise idea that why Tom we Hanks, want Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks we wanted Tom Hanks to call in so we could interview him solely about Peter Scolari. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh. so, you know, he has a rep reputation to protect. Who, Peter Scolari or Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks. Really, Peter Scolari needs to protect his reputation yeah, a little no, more. No Tom kidding. Hanks is pretty much he's he's pretty much set up. Yeah, he's a pilot, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's solid. That guy can fly anywhere else. Right, no, yeah. and there's the thing. I you know Tom Hanks would be an amazing interview, but I, how good would it be if we got Tang Tom Hanks on the air and talked about his bosom buddy co-star and uh, solely completely. Yeah, no, I mean that. I, you know, I think a lot of people would like to hear it, but he might, he might be, you know, above that. You know, you think he is? You think he? I don't know. Maybe has anybody ever requested that of Tom Hanks? I don't know. What to get to, like a bosom buddies reunion? Tom well, not Hanks? A, well, not a reunion, but just to talk about yeah. anything but Saving Private Ryan. You know what I mean? Anything but Philadelphia. And I don't Forrest want to, Gump. Any, anything Gump. but World War Two. Ex yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with any historical, you know, menagerie of scenes. Anything that he's done. but Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anything See, about Hooch? Yeah, Hooch. Oh my God, <laughs> Turner Turner and Hooch. Oh. Holy crap! All right. Well, no, listen. I I appreciate anybody that listens to the show. We're trying to get it rolling. 
Uh, and well, you know, I, I don't know. Well, I think we're gonna well, reach about, when I when I tuned in, you guys were talking about Pauly Shore. Yeah, no, the oh, reason yeah. tell us about Pauly Shore. About? Well, the reason we we're talking about Pauly Shore uh, because all of us have had intimate uh, uh, interaction with him. Marty Hoffman just worked okay. with Marty Hoffman just worked with Pauly Shore uh, recently in Texas, where he's at. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Barbie actually entered the Pauly Shore intern contest, right? Uh, to be his assistant. Yeah. To be his assistant. Okay, intern assistant, mm -hmm. uh, which Pauly Shore completely blew off, like. Midway through the contest, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I worked with Polly Shore here in in Tampa when he was in town. He did like a private tour, rolled up in his bus. I emceed the show, and we didn't really talk. Now, have you interviewed Polly Shore? Oh yes, yeah, and, yeah. How did you? Times. Okay, so more than once. Yeah, yeah. How did you? How was he? Was I mean? Was he? Is he cool? Did you have a good time? What I mean? Well, he, you know, he's exactly. The, he's exactly the person that you think he is, and you know, and he's not as wild. I mean, he's, you know, he's just you know, on stage, you know, he's putting on a show. But I think you know, I don't know. He seems a little weird, like basically, I don't the... know, a little, little questionable, you know, a little homoerotic. What? Yeah, what? like he, I, he, I think he was hitting on me and my friend, but I, I don't know <laughs> if they were fucking with us or what was going on. But it was weird. Yeah. Well, like really what? uncomfortable. Well, what this mean? one guy, this comedian. That's on tour with him, Danny Trump. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of him. No, it was Pretty a different funny guy. Different guy than when I been, talked uh, to him. been doing stand up at the comedy store in LA yeah. since it's opened. All right. Mm -hmm. And um, he was creepy. He was trying to hit on the, the cameraman that was with us. Um, so this I got was. I like, video of it, but I'm not comfortable with posting it. Really? That um, It was that bad? Yeah, it was awkward uh, for everybody. I don't. I don't. And it doesn't. It's not really. It's just a bunch of crap. People talking over each other. And, yeah. You know, um, it's it's not interesting, but there's an interview up online. Uh, if you go to our website, can I plug my website? Of here? course you can. And don't even right. hesitate. Is it Dig Boston? The good the Good American Collective. Oh. Okay. And that's that blog spot. Okay. Um, it's soon to be a website, but uh, I'm just right. sort of testing the waters with, you know, publishing my own shit and and whatnot. But um, uh, yeah, yeah. The, go to that website, the Good American Collective. Mm -hmm. Uh, blog spot. And, blog not you know, there's found. Tons of interviews up there, and, and, and you know, uh, you'll answer some of your, your some of your own questions when you're Sorry. on. Sorry. The blog you were looking for does not exist. What? However, the name Good American Collective is available to register. I'm taking it, bro. <laughs> yeah, you went dot com, man. <laughs> dot com, Jordan. Dot com. I didn't tell you to go to dot com. I said blogspot. He said blogspot. That's where I'm at, bro. Blogspot.com. Right. The Good American Collective dot blogspot. Yeah, you put Good American. What All is right, that? Hold on. Let me go back in there. All right. Yeah, so, listen, Jordan's got a laptop. He has no idea what the hell he's doing. He acts like he knows. He, <laughs> All he knows how to do is I, he, he knows how to boot up Team Fortress, and that's it <laughs> i know how to do all you, kinds of things you're not no, finding anything no hold on he's still typing he's just oh i think I, I, I added a little I too much give you my name and everything would come up but we're not going to do that yeah right no no now. listen we're, we're way ahead of twitter oh listen i we're way ahead of you buddy dude i'm taking it now okay. no but the vlog's not oh there no 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 you see you don't know what the hell you're doing all right we'll check it out i know who you are um all right you do yeah uh, no and, no we, and you go to in you know in that interview with paulie short yeah. up there and uh yeah that that's that, but um, I never yeah, got that. I, don't know. I mean, like, you know, I'm basically, you know, working with the papers up in Boston, yeah, you know, about promoting up and coming shows and stuff, that's right, in town and all that. And sure, I think, you know, I don't know, I can see you doing that as well, you know. Yeah, I listen. We want to. Hey, I, I interviewed Robert Schimmel too. I think you guys know who he is, right? Uh oh, Robert. Oh, Dick Shaw. No, Robert Schimmel. Oh, Robert Schimmel. Yes, I know Robert Schimmel. Jesus, he's old. that guy's like, what is he like, ninety now? Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, nah, man, he's dead. Is he? Oh, did he die? Well, he didn't die from old age. I think he was thinking of someone else. Uh, no. Shills, um he, he was uh, in remission for uh, oh. getting non Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. Jesus. Um, and then uh, just last summer, him and his daughter were driving uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, and he got in a head on collision, and the poor bastard died of a car crash, of oh. injuries a week later from the car crash. Holy and this crap. guy's beat cancer. He's beat, um, you know, he's beat, um, you, whatever, you know, read this yeah, story yeah. up there too, you know. No, that's like amazing. Said, I'm not good. I'm not really not good on the radio here talking. No, you, so. listen, you're doing a fine job, Cornelius. I, we were talking okay. about it earlier because I, I heard a story about a woman, and this is right along the same lines. She was, was supposed to board a flight in South America, missed the flight, the uh -huh. plane crashes, 
Everybody dies on the plane. Okay. They're all dead. She's like, well, I still got to get to where I'm going. She rents a car to drive in South America, drives off a cliff. No. Yeah, like two days later, dude. Oh, Misses gosh. the dying on the flight, drives off a cliff in her car. Sometimes when it's your time, dude, it's, it's your freaking time. You know what I mean? I don't. I'm not like a god person. Tiffany's like, oh my god, it's weird in here now. But no. uh, when you hear a story like that, like holy it's crap, like final destination. Yeah, right, know, exactly. The, like, yeah, <laughs> you're coming. fist pumping because you missed the crash plane, and then your car goes burp off the because right. of a the donkey in a cart. You know what I mean? It was her time. Yeah, somewhere in Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's you know, you that can't sucks. really beat death. And I don't think I don't think Robert Schimmel. I mean, come on, you guys don't know who Robert Schimmel is? I totally know who Robert Schimmel is. Yeah, I know yeah, who he is. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he, you know, I mean, that's a tragic life there. The guy was a yeah. oh, he's brilliant. comedian. No, the greatest he's... American comedians. Voted yeah. as one of the top 100 oh, I agree. comedians. Oh, I agree. And um, this guy's life was far from funny. Yeah, no, that, and usually they are. I mean, you yeah. know, any of those guys, uh, you know, the, if you hear stories about uh, Sam Kinison, he had finally gotten clean and... I heard uh, somebody on, I forget what blog, uh, what uh, podcast it was, but he described uh, what it was like because he was there behind Sam Kinison when he had the accident. And this is a guy who had gotten mm-hmm. sober and was really hitting I sort of like the zenith of his career and pff, done. It was a really weird interview. And the, the way he described how Sam Kinison went out was like, freaked me out, dude. Totally freaked me out. But you know what? Listen, nobody gets out alive, Cornelius. <laughs> no, they don't. Nobody gets but, out alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, hey, baby. You see that Bobcat Goldthwait photo on my website, right? What's that? Did you go to the website? Or? No, Jordan is still friggin' typing stuff. And what are you doing, are you dude? Kidding me, man? Like, no, no, I'm, on, I'm not kidding. American.blogspot.com. Why are you having such a hard time? Because you I'm can't. Trying to steal his website. He doesn't Stop. own Good American Collective. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm, I'm pretty sure you capitalize. Dude, I totally good... do, man. Uh, you guys got Twitter, right? You yeah. Get it open there. Yeah, yeah. No, he's got his Twitter all open. Right, I'm gonna send you the link there. All right, go to Twitter. Go to G- Double Special right, Twitter. Hold on. You dumbass. Hey, and get no you. You are really I got it bringing directly me down. off his thing, dude. Unless you he's are not spelling listening. wrong on his profile. Did you capitalize Good American when you did it? You, you did, don't have did. to capitalize it for oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking. Good American Collective Blogspot.com. Okay, right? go ahead. L- click on the link. It's called a link because you can click on it and oh, it goes no. right to the blogspot. It's not a link, though. He's just, uh, he just, what do you, you don't got it? No, he's working and he's working. God damn, you're so You've slow. You've been doing dude. that for like right. 10 minutes. This is why he, that's why I don't play Battlefield 3. See? He has no idea. Good American Collective. Oh, blog Sorry, the blog you're looking for does not exist. All right, Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius no, I didn't exist. Hold on one second. Someone's <laughs> doing something wrong. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's either you or it's JB, one of the two. No, it's not. I, 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 man, I got like, I get tons of shit on there. Now, hold on. Um, All right. Double, 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 double. Special. Pleasure, double mint. Double. Um, <laughs> Double dongs. All right, well, while, while you guys are pulling it up, right, let me go ahead and plug I'm it. I'm tweeting it. At double special. Tweet. There you go. You should have it. All right, there it is. Right? You got it at the tweet? You got it. You're on the Twitter? I'm on the Twitter. All right, you're on the Twitter. Is he on there the There you go, right there. Bam, there it is. Oh, that's our tweets. Yeah, it is. That's our tweets? You got to go to mentions. Yeah, you got to mentions. See, look. She knows. Tiffany knows what's up. All right, while you're doing that, let me go ahead and plug a few shows. Uh, I will be at Kick and Wing in Hudson, Florida. On July 20th, this is going to be an official ComedySlamRadio.com production. I'll be headlining. Andrew Hall will be uh, doing a guest set that night, our crippled comedy correspondent. And on uh, August 10th and 11th, I will be at Snappers Comedy Club uh, in t- in uh, sorry in Palm Harbor. And then actually today, I just booked, I will be auditioning for the Boston Comedy Festival. Right up your way there, Cornelius. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll be auditioning for that. Oh, really? Um, well, let me know. Yeah, I'll be auditioning for that here in St. Pete at the Coconuts Comedy Club on July 26th. That's a Thursday night. You can come out and uh, support me. I need eight people to come out so that I don't have to pay to be in this stupid audition. You pick me up. Yeah, no, it's a, <laughs> look, it's a free trip to go to Boston. You get on a backstage. That's awesome. It's not on the main stage. It's on a backstage. I got beat by Kevin Knows last year. We'll see how it goes. Kevin All Knows, right. he's very funny. I love him. So, Cornelius, right. yep. just when you yes. you should uh, rewrite your profile and put The Good American Collective instead of just Good American Collective Blogspot. There you go. There it is. Okay, yeah. Bobcat. Well, wait a minute. That is, that is the name of the Blogspot, The Good American Collective. Yeah, I know. But that's not what it says in your profile, punk. <laughs> what profile are you looking at? Yeah, On your Twitter. At your, Captain's Log. Oh, really? At yeah. Captain's Log, yeah. Writer, contributor for Dig Boston, quietest performer, and 
Good American Collective. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. There you go, folks. Well, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Cornelius yeah, owes you're us. Right. You're yeah. absolutely right. I'm, I'm nice. absolutely right. But you weren't, you weren't, um, was that how you were going about it? Well, no, that was on the bottom. It says the Good American Collective. Would well, you? Let's never mind. We're going to get, we're going to confuse the shit yeah. out of everybody. No, no, I think, I think right now we should play some right? apology said, music and have a apology. You know what, dude? I think, we, I think we need to duel. 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 <laughs> All right, well, listen, we got about five minutes left, and I, my bladder is going to explode. I swear to God, it's going to. All right, hey, real quick, you're yes. coming to Boston, get in touch, because, uh, oh, you know, certainly. we maybe create a little buzz up there. No, that'd be you, great, you know? dude. If I'm up there, I will certainly get in touch with you. I know other avenues to get in touch with you. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll get together. Hey, yeah. listen, so, thanks so much for calling the show, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, All we're right. going gonna to check your blocks about it. Give him a little pump. Ladies right and gentlemen, you can read Cornelius's great stuff at the Good American. AmericanCollective.blogspot.com. Read about Bobcat Goldwaite, Paulie Shore, Florida Zombies, <laughs> Robert Schimmel, Burning Spear, oh and Vincent God. Gallo. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Vincent Gallo. You remember that scene in like Brown Bunny? Like, oh, I totally, do. Yeah. I totally remember that. That was <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> now we're hip. We know yeah, what's going uh, on. That's, that's good. Right, right on. I appreciate that. No, that, that sounded good. Yeah, so right. uh, hopefully I can get an audio clip of that as well. Yeah. Hey, listen, call up next week. We'll do it again all over again just for we'll you. We'll do. All right. Good night. All right. There you go. We give it up one more time. Cornelius, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> with a tribute to Adam Yauk and his fans. Love Adam Yauk. That's, that's something to <laughs> Listen, we're all Almost at the end of a show. It's been two hours. We got three minutes left. I uh, want to give a big round of applause uh, for Cornelius. Give it up for Cornelius. Cornelius. For the show. And let's thank all our callers, yeah. including Marty Hoffman and Andrew Hall. That's right. They'll be fighting a duel to the death this Saturday at Kicking Wings on State Road 52 in Hudson. And if you'd like to see my stand-up again, I will be at Snappers Comedy Club in Palm Harbor. You can check out sca- uh, snappersgrill.com. When is that? Uh, that is August 10th and 11th. I'll be yeah, headlining there. When are you headlining at Kicking Wings? I will be at Kicking Wings on July 20th. You so can, that's sooner. Maybe you should have said sooner. that first. I'm no. all out of whack. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Uh, PSP. I, I to, I, it's really what it is. It's like right up here in my chest now. It's like right beneath my diaphragm. I'm like, holy crap. Like, I can't take it. Uh, and I will be auditioning for the Boston Comedy Festival on uh, July 26th at the Coconuts Comedy Club, St. Pete Beach. Please come out and support me. Uh, help me make it to Boston so I can hang out yeah. with Cornelius. You're, you're, I'm not awesome. you're funnier than Kevin knows. I, well, no, I Ke- record that right now. Well, listen, I stand Ke- by it. Kevin had a good set. I'll take nothing against, uh, <laughs> away from Kevin. He did a good job. He is funny. And I had to compete against Ward Smith. Uh, so how do you do that? I mean, yeah. you know, now he's on, what is it, burn notice? I'm like, uh, but he's really upset with Paul Saleo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Chris are, Gorgeous yeah. hates Paul Saleo. Who already, really? who, yeah, listen, Paul's already in. He's got he's on the main stage, for God's sakes. I don't mm-hmm. know how he did it, but good for Paul. Yeah, good for I, I'm everybody. jealous. I'm not mad. I'm jealous. But I'm, it's right. like, yeah, you know. And uh, Tiffany Barbie in the studio. Give her a round of applause. Tiffany, Tiffany Barbie. Hey, gracing our studio. Come back again. Thanks uh, yeah. for having me. Do you I... like the show? Is it oh, fun? Yeah, I love Are you going to be like a regular part of it? Would you like to be with your Euros? I love hanging out with you guys. Yeah, I'll bring my Euros. Are we going to talk about the decline of um, Finland? <laughs> Prob- probably not. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll move on to other subjects but you know next what? week. Thank yes. you for bringing it up because now I know all about it. Oh. I learned something new this week. <laughs> give me like, give me more homework every week. And she's <laughs> like, I will be converting my euros quite uh soon. JB, anything you want to say before we get out of here? Because uh, I have to pee so bad. We're gonna we're gonna are we gonna go have a drink over there? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, his back pee-pee. teeth are floating. It's time for us to go. That's right. And Tune in next week when Chris Gorgeous says Uh I'd like to dedicate this show to my mother who's in the hospital right now, downer, but I'm gonna bring it up. I'm thinking about you, mom. Uh, and we'll see you in a couple of days. Wow. Dude. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would. He was like, well, I can't Aww. handle serious stuff. I, I love you, mom, and we'll see you in a couple of days. All right, so that's it. Are we getting ready to roll out here? Nolan, you ready to roll out? All right, good. Uh, give us that bumper, too, if we can. Again, thanks. To Hi, I'm Chris Barbie. Wheeler, voice of the Philadelphia <laughs> Phillies baseball team, and you're listening to Double Special on ComedySlamRadio.com. Good night, everybody. We're out of here. We'll yeah, see you next week. Hi, I'm Chris me. Wheeler, voice of the Philadelphia <laughs> Phillies baseball team, <laughs> and you're listening to Double <laughs> Special on Comedy Slam. Slamradio.com. Dude, that was Mark. I, I think your guys' show is very good. I would... Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of the Double Special Show starring Christopher Gorgeous and JB Lee. Presented by ComedySlamRadio.com. Tune in next week live from 8 30 to 10 30. Please. What was that?
I'll tell you what that was. That was another fine show from ComedySlamRadio.com, where we put the dot-com in 